<laughs> All right. And we just we start the recording just in time to hear Don's motivation. Okay. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right. So it has been two months since we played Traveler. Uh, I am so pleased to get back to this this week. Uh, and I, I imagine you guys are too, because I imagine in your heart of hearts, as the holidays were passing uh, through and you guys enjoyed all the various uh, um, mid-year revels, Saturnalia, you know, that kind of stuff, um, that you guys were like, you know what? I wish we could have another couple of sessions uh, of that zombie battle because I knew you guys were missing it. Uh, you know, we hadn't spent all that much time. It was only four or five sessions on, on that fighting zombies. So, uh, I know you're, you're ready for more Andrew. Yes. You have your hand raised. Who are you? I oh, am the man who's going to help you play traveler. You make my, you make my, uh, Omnicron Christmas sound a lot more exciting than it was. <laughs> where I basically was super glued myself in the house and watched people, <laughs> you know, fall apart out, outside. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's that's entertaining in its way. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I do have some space tiger penis I ground up in a little tea. Ooh, hey. that's, that sounds like the Dr. Wagner special. Yeah. Got it on that's the what, I'm going to go check my supply. I, it looks a little short. It's space no tiger. Intended. It's space tiger penis mixed with ketamine, as I recall. is the <laughs> And is a little the, ivermectin, too. The, yeah. the Dr. Wagner special. Yeah, Just a little <laughs> ivermectin so you can do the suppository version. Nice. You gotta, you gotta like that. All right. So a lot has, well, a lot has happened since we last played, but a lot happened Don the last time we played. He is getting in his steps. He can hear us, right, Don? Yep. Okay. He has already declared that he has, that he has to get it to his 10,000. Is it 10,000 steps you gotta get? Yes. All right. He's working on it. How many you got? <laughs> 13. 3,500. All right, he's going to be walking around that table pretty much all night. I have a feeling. All right, do you want to get you want to have like an emergency contact just in case uh, <laughs> you know, I start feeling a little lightheaded or something? I'll be good. Okay. <laughs> well, let's let's start at the top with Captain Black, who is right here. Do you see him? Uh, as I recall, he's right behind a building on fire. Yes, I he think. is. Yeah. So the so the entire depot. Uh, is completely engulfed in flames and burning merrily. There's a bit of a problem because this thing here is a is basically a large battery that's used to charge the train, um, a solar collector and a battery. So these guys, as you know, the people of Tufik are not massively technologically uh, proficient. Uh, so it's a pretty safe bet that once the fire gets onto that battery, it could blow up. Uh, that, that, that's a thing that could happen. That could happen. That could happen. So um, Captain Black is with Mehmet Tam uh, on the <laughs> on the uh, uh, in the in the rear of the train depot, which is burning, and which uh, and near the uh, battery unit, which is supposed to charge the train, which you guys are supposed to take back to the town that's four hours by train away. Uh, and that's and that's burning. And they are on the back there now. The good part, so there's we got some good news and bad news for Captain Black. <laughs> the, the good news. Let's do the good news first because you know that's the way to do it. Uh, good news is that there are no uh, still alive Cordyceps zombies on the back platform of the train depot that is on fire. Uh, the bad news is that it really doesn't matter if they're there now because they've already been there and gotten. Cordyceps fungus on the captain. So he has been exposed. Now we don't know if he's infected, but he has been exposed. So that's he has that's to join the sex offenders list. <laughs> so that's pretty much everybody. He's not gonna raise well, a lot of people have. So one notable exception to that is Mehmet Tam, who is by the captain who has been exposed, but as far as we can tell, has not personally been exposed. The pro uh, so so that's the good news. The bad news is that Mr. Tam is very much aware of the explosive properties of those batteries. Yes, uh, and uh, you know when they catch on fire, and also that that battery is what you guys were going to use to charge the train up so that you guys could get back with the medicine. Well, it was going to be. <laughs> well, it's not blown up yet. It's that it's free it, it, it's and electronics. You can push it off the porch. And I can verify that the train 
being a low technology planet has pedals built in. <laughs> it's a Flintstone train. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, so those, those are the guys on the platform. Then you got the guys to the north. So there's a couple of guys to the north. Uh, and, uh, and the first one that we notice is Dr. Wagner is in a little, uh, uh, what looks to be some sort of uh, like little enclosure, uh, perhaps a garden or a little enclosure for animals that are going to, you know, I'm as they're going to be lo lo on the train. But as we look, uh, as we look at Dr. Wagner, he too has been exposed at some point during the uh, last 15 I'm, rounds. <laughs> wait a minute. I've been wearing my face mask and procedure clothes. And Understood. I, I didn't say you were infected. I said you were exposed. Uh, well, so you let have, me check my fly. You have spores on you. <laughs> Next to him, near him, on the other side of the fence, is Coffin Doyle, who has not only been exposed, but unless I miss my guess, has been bitten by one of the cordyceps zombies. Yes. More than once, as I recall. Uh, could be more than once, yeah. So um, I'm down three hit points. I'm not sure if that counts. Uh, that, that's one bite or two. Anyway, I, I am probably going to need medical help a stat. I think it's just one bite, but obviously uh, a bite delivery of the cordyceps fungus. And I believe you were bitten on the shoulder. Yeah, um, if that's so, and if there's no medical help forthcoming um, ASAP, we're going to have to do something radical. Yep, I would agree. Uh, here. Luckily, you have a He was bitten on the face, and we have to chop it off. <laughs> Put a tourniquet on the neck. We're going to take his face this is, a, this, is our, this is our security chief, Doyle the Faceless. Yeah. We've actually kept Nick Cage's face in a, in a jar, and we're going to put that on him. Why do you call him the Faceless? Ah! Ah! Oh, God, that looks like her. Um, all right. So, oh, uh, also, what are those jellyfish guys? I'm sure, they got some parts laying around. Off to the. The, the, the front, yeah, you guys got to give them cordyceps, see how that works. They're probably immune to it. They're immune to pretty much everything. So, who knows? Um, near Coffin and uh, Scared Freddy, who's also been exposed and I believe bitten, are two cordyceps dogs, which have sort of ambled up. Uh, uh, because of the all the activity north of the depot and the fact that the uh, the flickering giant fire probably is attracting them from the north. Well, In the, the meantime, plan. huh? That was the original plan to draw them all to this spot so they burn themselves up. Yeah, that was the original plan. However, there's so much activity going on that it might not be the plan any longer. Uh, in front of the depot, to give, to give you guys credit, there are several cordyceps zombies which seem to be <laughs> confused, but scared Freddy just ran through the middle of them. So while they were fascinated by the fire, um, although they do fear fire, they understand that it is, it is bad for them. So they weren't going to willingly walk into it. Andrew, what are you wearing on your head? It's my Gur Fez. Got it. Okay. Raider Zim. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't you see Invader Zim? I can't. No. Say no. It's a great Fez. Uh, so these guys <laughs> are almost certainly moving northward. Uh, to go and um, hit Scared Freddy because he just ran through them, uh, exposing himself multiple on multiple occasions to the cordyceps fungus. <laughs> exposing himself on multiple occasions. <laughs> on multiple occasions. <laughs> Got children here. Uh, and then we move to the middle of the, of, the, of the town where burning merrily after being covered with, I believe, kerosene uh, is the truck in which the crates of Cordyceps medicine are stacked. Uh, now, this, this this thing had a big fungus growing out of it, which uh, somebody bumped into. I think it was one of the one of the cordyceps zombies bumped into it, and of course, it released all its spores all over the truck. So, um, Weber Jix, along with um, Train Girl and uh, Pious Whiskey Guy, are burning the spores off the top of the truck. The better for them to get in the truck. And I believe the plan is to go get the rest of the party, pile in, and head south with the medicine in the truck. Wait, Les, we talked about this. That wasn't a plan at all. It's not I the plan? Just, I was just, I was just <laughs> leaving in this truck. You guys are, you know, I'll, I'll write their families. <laughs> oh, no, you're yeah, we're gonna oh, they're, 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 they're picking up everybody. That's not part of the plan. Okay, taking, sorry, taking the truck is part of the plan. <laughs> the rest of it, you're right. Okay. No, no, we're, uh, I, as soon as the thing is out, my plan is to... Uh, 
find a way to get to them um, and pile everybody on. Well, here's the, the fuck out of here. Fun part is you don't really know where they are. Well, I mean, they're still spread a gunfire. There's, 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 well, there's still, there's still spread mean, a gunfire. There's a Doyle, big fire. Doyle and the captain were firing at point blank range of these these zombies. He knows he knows what our security guard is like. So the largest <laughs> fire is probably where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> Security Chief Doyle. Gunfire. Wouldn't he when, hear the gunfire? When, it, when in doubt, look for the biggest fire you can find, and there, there will be Security Chief Doyle. As I uh, recall, he was down to his last. He, he was down to his Barney bullet, or, or or even below that. Well, he has two rounds left. <clears throat> Your bar, bullet, Barney. Uh, and I believe you have twelve rounds left. So, um, which is good. You still have a fresh mag uh, for your pistol. But uh, there doesn't seem to be the the good news is that there doesn't seem to be any cordyceps zombies that have noticed you and your little fire is getting their attention uh probably due to the big fire and the guys running around exposing themselves to cordyceps on multiple occasions. Phrasing. yeah okay. uh on multiple occasions also so there, so that's what's going on in the middle of town down in the south end of town is young isaac who is over here uh, and is by the, a big plant. He has several zombies chasing after him. Um, and uh, he, I believe, on orders from Weber, is leading those zombies away from the truck so that uh, they, you know, they don't need immediately go and, and that Weber and his team, his crack team of two fuckers, um, are able to, uh, uh, to to obtain the truck safely without being harassed by cordyceps zombies. Is that, do I have that right? When this, is, when this is all over, I'm getting myself a super, super strong two fucker wife. <laughs> there you go. Carry me around. Junk bunch inbound. Um, I think that's where we stand. I believe so. And did I forget anything? Don't think yes, so. that uh, Dr. Wagner's been contemplating suicide from being on a double gravity planet for so long. It's probably true. You can probably get used to it. It's like being in Denver. Uh, you first, <laughs> you, you throw up a lot and, and you can, can't drink more than one drink, but now you're starting to feel okay. <laughs> Maybe this is your planet, Dr. Wagner. Oh, this boy. is the planet that you ultimately found that you wanted to stay at. And you're like, this is, I'm retiring. <laughs> I'm retiring to Tufik. To open a cordyceps farm. All right. That's where we start. We're going into round 15. Uh, any, qu any questions? <laughs> <laughs> can you remind me how far we can move in this game? Uh, I believe it's four squares per action, 20 feet per action. All right, the squares are two meters, so eight meters per action. You get two, two actions. So up to eight squares. But four and then shoot. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, Doc, you have a weapon? Who are you good? Yeah. Well, he's got, yeah, so he's got a laser. Captain's got a laser. Oh, Captain, I, I, didn't, I didn't Doc had it with it. I thought it was Doc who talked. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know I if didn't I get Dr. Wagner, I think. Do you have your cold gun? Uh, yeah. yeah. I would think not. I don't think you guys brought it down here on a uh, on a simple. I don't think they allow guns down here either. Must be a cake. Well, walk. I Go told him it was a Snoopy snow cone maker. <laughs> They're like, you guys have snow cones on your planet. That's awesome. All right, so you're moving to the edge. So, Captain, I see you move to the edge of the uh, platform. Yeah, and then my question is, can I? I know the fire is probably blocking my view, but before I do make another choice, right? Can I see anything around the corner? Uh, not around the corner. You can see Dr. Wagner, but you can't see Doyle or that dog. And uh, you might be able to see the dog. That one dog. That's what I was wondering because I'd like to take a shot at him if I could. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. I think you can see that dog. It's kind of hazy, but uh, and yeah, uh, you're I'm starting to through the old flames. Shoot through the flames. That's badass. That's the kind of thing a starship captain would do. Ooh, also, he would miss. <laughs> the flames were a distraction. The flames interfered with your laser. And well, that's you, my turn. You miss the dog. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I guess I'm gonna... Why is it? What the? What? No. Why, it... Why is it doing this? Hold on a second. 
Something is wrong. I can't get it to go forward. Oh no, Les is infected with the Cordy. My, uh, my uh, list here is infected with the Cordy. What am I going to do? Sorry, Les. We'll All right, I got to, I got to, I hope this works. There we go. I think it, it worked. I think it worked. I hope it does. <laughs> then we have to roll for initiative and everybody forgets. Oh, I had 20 bullets. I know. I don't know what you're talking about. Two bullets. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're back in business. Coffin Doyle. You right. are there. You just saw a laser come zipping by your head. Uh, and you sort of went back and you see, you can see sort of the hazy outline of Captain Black. Uh, still on the train depot through the flame, the uh, the flames of the depot. Okay, um, I see Captain Black. I see Doctor Wagner. Oh, yeah. um, I guess I don't see Weber Jicks. Mm -mm. Um, I guess. I, um, do I know where this burning cart is? Uh, you do know that the truck is sort of in the middle of town. Gotcha. Uh, the truck that had the medicine on it, but you you don't know. I mean, you don't know that Weber's there, and you can't see that fire. Well, I guess you well you might be able to see smoke okay. coming up from the center of town. All right. Uh, um, I bet you would. Do I see Mehmet? No, no. I, I don't. Okay. Um, all right. Um, be, I'm. Useless where I am. Um, I'm bit. I'm prob probably gonna become a zombie soon. Um, <laughs> dang. Uh, um, do I know? Oh, hang on, I've got some iver ivermectin. I can. Thanks. I got, <laughs> some, some, I got some horse pace back at the shuttle. <laughs> right. um, um, do I know um, how long I have before I start to turn into a zombie? Well, from your previous conversations from, uh, uh, you know, with Dr. Wagner is that it, it, it varies for each person. You do know that the the fungus spores get into your bloodstream and, and lodge themselves at various places, organs, things like that, and then sprout. Um, the first symptoms that you'll you'll see is, you know, there's a slurring of speech. Uh, the sclera of the eyes turns a sort of gray color. Uh, Don't forget the, the the encrustation of like a fez like thing on top of your skull. You mm -hmm. suddenly get a, like a weird fez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, but sometimes it can take several hours. The thing the right. thing about well, if he heard it from me, there would also be the exhortation to um, pay me the money he owes me. <laughs> Soon. before before you uh before you die so yeah it take, it, it can take several hours to get to that stage what you all what dr Wagner would also have told you is that once you get to that stage it's, it's pretty much game over okay um then uh um i yell over to dr w wagner doctor um later on i'm gonna ask you to um amputate my my arm um right now i'm gonna run over and um try to do something useful um who is scared freddy again he's one of the two fit guys that was on the uh um he was on the train uh okay. came out with you guys when you got here uh and he's from Man. this planet and basically he panicked uh and ran off when the zombies first yeah, he's got like six bike great. marks on him dude he, he's doing um, us all a favor by doing what he's doing good okay great um I see two dogs um, to the uh, to, to my um, two o'clock and about three o'clock. Just or so. describe my dating life. Yep, they look they look like this. Okay, yeah, are definitely they, my dating life. Uh, <laughs> um, are, are those dogs facing Freddy or me? Uh, the northernmost dog uh, looks like it's moving. Well, so you're sort of standing still. Yeah. Freddie is making a lot of noise and moving around a lot. Uh, so their attention is sort of drawn to him. The, the southernmost dog is like right up next to him and just, I believe, just bit him. Uh, and so he's, he, and, and like, uh, like Matt Pat pointed out, he's got probably two or three bites on him at least um, where the, he's been, because he ran right through the zombie the zombies and they all yeah, got he was with us he was with us and then he panicked cut right into the zombie horde and then he drew them okay. with him back to you guys but the, right. the northernmost one doesn't seem to be paying attention especially 
that because also because a laser just went by it. So it's sort of looking around in, in more or less fungal confusion. Okay. Um, my long-term plan, and it, 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 even though I might be dying, I'm still going to make a long-term plan. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to uh, um, have the, the doctor give me a lot of um, sedative, lop off my, my, my arm, um, stop the bleeding, and then later I'm going to buy the best arm I can find um, in space. Um, now, for now, though, um, I got to clear a path so that um, people can go to that truck and get the um, medicine off the truck and bring it back to the train. Um, so it seems like I should take a shot maybe at either this zombie here or here. I also noticed I have only two rounds in the magazine. Yep. Damn, really? You're down to two bullets. You're about to be Barney Fife with one bullet. <laughs> Wow. All right. Um, well, I, I want to do a, a medical check because I'm thinking this isn't like the Westerns where if I just cut open your bite and suck out the snake poison. Right. I think, um, but what I am thinking is that if I give you some kind of sedative that slows your heart rate and your respiration rate, that you'll slow down the fungal uh spread throughout your body as well which means you need to rest comfortably but i think it might work better than saving your arm make but sure i you need to do a medical check make sure you get a space sharpie correct. and 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 draw right on your arm which one you want chopped off so there's <laughs> <laughs> and a little red dot this arm wrote right on it not this arm written on the other one <laughs> 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 you idiots! That was my foot. No, all right. Um, uh, all right. Um, well, can it's I? It's barely um, a flesh wound. Does anybody remember Bill the Galactic Hero when he gets his best friend's arm? They only they only had spare parts for uh, only left arms left, so he gets two left arms. <laughs> like, um, can I move to here? Uh, you could. Yeah. So you can move four squares and action. Yeah, I'm gonna go one and two. Uh, about right there. And I'm going to crouch down and be kind of slow moving. And I'm going to take careful aim at this zombie here. And I'm going to, if I can, get off. Um, how, how many shots can I get off? One? Just, or, just one. You move and you get one shot. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, right. it's essentially a... a you got to pay pistol. for another session if you want to get off another shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Um, I have, I, I, I think, uh, let me review my sheet here. I have gun combat three. Okay. okay. Yep. And um, that 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 does my dexterity help at all? No. All right. No, you've got gun three, so you get plus three on your on your two d six, and okay, it's so eight, eight or better to hit. So two d six plus three. Yep. Correct. Correct. And I'm going after that zombie there. And gotcha. I roll, and I roll a six. Damn. <laughs> Oh, bullet goes flying down uh, down the way uh, um, and land somewhere else. And that is, is it, one of these guys. No, maybe. Well, those. Uh, nah, I would think so. All right, damn it! Really, that's terrible. This is terrible. All that's right, what just happened one. to me too. I think the dice are loaded tonight. I uh, I I can uh, I can guarantee you that the dice are not loaded. I'm working on getting loaded. This is working. On the kind of loaded. There we go. Andrew beat me to it. All right. So that's Coffin. He is. He takes a shot, and he is down to one bullet. One bullet only, Coffin. Uh, it is the green team. Uh, they are up. Whoops. What the flip? Sorry. Hold on. I've got. I've got all kinds of stuff happening on my screens here. All right. Uh, um, I'm going to roll to see if I'm just straight up two d six to see if they notice if if green no green zombie has noticed that you um, that you fired at them if they uh, have a new uh, potential target. Let's see. Nah, they don't know. They're still moving on, scared Freddy. So they are going to come up behind scared Freddy. Uh, and give him a little, a little nibble. A little, how's your father? A little, how's your pop? Uh, these guys, these blue guys, let's see if they notice the fire the other direction. Nah, they don't know. Uh, so they are going to step over these dogs. One, two, three, four, 
uh, and they are going to come this way as well, but they're not going to be able to get close enough. They're crowding around behind the greens as the, as the greens try to munchitate on Freddie. Let's see how they do. Ooh, very close. Oh, two missed bites as Freddy is whirling around trying to avoid being eaten. Uh, but uh, it does seem to manage to avoid getting munched on as yet. It's his turn. Uh, and he is going to try and punch the dog. And does. He punches the dog right on the top of the head. Is that a euphemism? Nope. And does a ton of damage. As he punches the dog head, uh, Doyle, you're you're in prime viewing area. You see this guy; he's screaming, he's jumping around, he's got bite marks all over him. He's losing his stuff, but he reaches down, and you know how these two figures punch because they're they're super strong in this in this high gravity world. He punches down, and you could see a very significant skull fracture has taken place on this dog. Part of the top of its head is sort of caved in, and when it caves in there's like a of like spores coming out of the brain cavity uh as uh as he punches in it's still on its feet but it's it's swaying around as these spores come out and in scared freddy is just like yelling ah! as he's swinging wildly dr wagner so i'm eyeballing uh my buddy Coffin Doyle, who owes me money, so I need to keep him alive. Yep. Is there anything I can do for him? Well, your thought is, we, I mean, he's he was only been he's only been bitten a few seconds ago, uh, maybe twenty to thirty seconds ago. So certainly, your thought is that there hasn't been enough time for the for the spores to move very far in his bloodstream however you do see that he is bleeding from the shoulder the shoulder wound while it's down it's more like a almost like a tricep wound or a bicep wound because it's low on the shoulder but your thought is that it's going to be difficult to sever that limb in the field because of the um it's going to take some skill which you have obviously to to tourniquet that and stop the bleeding because um it's going to be difficult to stop the bleeding from the stump that's going to be required so is that prudent, or if I can slow down his metabolism, his pulmonary and respiratory? Your medical opinion is that slowing down his metabolism can only help. It'll certainly, in your opinion, in your medical opinion, prolong the time it takes for the spores to germinate. And it'll certainly be a better shot. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hurt. <laughs> you want to slow the heart rate down, calm yourself before you shoot. <laughs> um. <clears throat> all right so can i jump this fence sure it's all it's a low fence maybe maybe two and a half feet high okay you guess it's some uh, sort of pen for small animals maybe goats or something i'm sort. gonna whisper to coffin hey look over there three o'clock look at the flowers <laughs> look at the flowers <laughs> and what, uh, what do you do to him you give him a little injection the side of the neck I just don't see a better alternative. I know he wants to be a hero, but he owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Tweeting that. I, you know, and give him that, uh, that, Doc, Doc, that Doc, Star uh, Trek all-inclusive injection. Yeah. Give him, uh, give him the old Bones bedside manner. Quit your whining. <laughs> I'm going to drink some Romulan ale and I jam this tricorder up your ass. <laughs> Time for your space prostate exam. Um, all right, so you you basically give him an injection, and I'm assuming it is of of, of a powerful sedative. It's more of a psychotropic. Okay, uh, so he's not going to fall unconscious. He's just going to be very mellow. It's gonna be like a a um, a berserker. <laughs> you came. Oops, that was my shot of angel dust that I was saving for later. I'm sorry. Wasn't wasn't Coffin Doyle already the berserker? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Giving him angel dust can only make things better. Coffin is trying very hard to to turn around his life. <laughs> he was ho he was hoping going to space would change that, but now he fell in with you degenerates and everything's wrong. I give All right. some uh, Michael Jackson branded prof propofol. There you go. All right. So so uh, almost immediately, 
coffin, you begin yeah. to feel pretty chill about the whole idea of being uh, being bit. You're like, well, got to take the long view on this. If I got to go, I got to go. You know, I'm you just got to kick him back. In, oh, in, uh, man, because I have to pay, uh, I have to pay Dr. Milagrosa Wagner back. Yeah. <laughs> as as Doctor as Doctor Wagner whispers in your ear, now you're going to be okay. Just remember to pay me back. <laughs> Here's my all right, name. all right. That's Doctor Wagner, Doc, uh, Mister Tam. What about you? <laughs> now, you have almost two full magazines. Well, okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take one of my magazines and toss it north to Captain. Okay, you know the captain's using a, a built-in laser. Um, okay. okay. I'm going to take one of my magazines and toss it north to the captain. All right. Saying, saying, give this to someone that can distract them. Okay? Okay. So that's one action. And it lands right around there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plop. It lands. It falls in the fire. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now. Um, the train ends here, you, you said, right? Uh, yes. And it is headed in the direction of yellow. Will this, will this charger even reach the train? Yeah, the train is sort of like behind that line. So here, I'll... Uh, it's, it. it oh, it's from here back. Yeah. So okay. The, the train, the busted out train thing, you know, the train is like here. Right, right. Okay. Um, you guys probably how, long does it, how long does it take to charge the train? Uh, How fast can you run? An hour. <sighs> I mean, you don't necessarily have to fill it to the brim. What? Well, yeah. What can I do with a fast charge? Yeah. <laughs> give me a. Give me an engine. <laughs> There's no fast charger. This is too thick, man. This isn't. Uh, uh, this is St. Louis. This isn't New York City. What are you talking about? Um, New York City. New York City. Uh, give me an engineering check. Now remember that the uh, that it has to also be turned around. Which you can do, but uh, thirteen—that's nice. pretty good. Pretty good roll. All right, you figure based on some mental calculations that you're doing really quickly in your head next to a burning building, that um, <laughs> you <laughs> you are uh, you think that a twenty-minute charge should be enough to get it turned around and back. You think back to uh, that 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 one little town where you guys left the truck. Now, why don't these idiots just put an engine on both ends? <laughs> Because you don't they, have to turn it around. You just have to go to the other engine. <laughs> they like they like turning it around, and plus, I didn't, I couldn't find a double engine a, a roundhouse. <laughs> uh, but te- roundhouse technology hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not asking for a roundhouse. <laughs> I'm right to the head. I want, I want, I want, I want it to be like a Metrolink train where there's an engine on both ends. On both ends, yeah. <laughs> no, that's too sophisticated for this planet. You must be from New York City. But you have 20 minutes charge and, you think provided and, it's not blown up and how long is it going to take to blow up yeah that's what my next question was <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> well i mean the f- if you could put the fire out or keep somehow keep the fire from that's what i'm going to look for from here, I going so. i mean the fire is sort of catching on to the battery housing the better uh, the battery unit housing right. um which you know that eventually will be a problem. It's not a problem yet, but if you could keep that, if there's, there's something that you can do to stop that fire on that thing, then it'll be fine. Just a general sense of heat is not going to heal that battery, but if you have actual fire on it, that's going to be a problem. Okay, well, my security uh, chief told me to always fight fire with fire, so if I make it more fire... <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy, it just might work. <laughs> okay, so this round, I threw the the one uh, magazine up to the okay. captain. It's got 10, 10 shots in it. Said, give this to someone who can use it. Keep them distracted up there. My, my other action is to go ahead and hook up the charger to the train. All right. So you're going to step down to, the, to this area. So you basically you're going to step over these bodies, carefully, yep. I'm assuming, and go over to <laughs> here. I'm going to assume you go out of, uh, like there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and all right. So the, and you're going to hook up the charge so yeah you're basically taking a big sort of thing and just sort of like you know hooking right. it to the to the engine right and what flip and flipping it on you know to start the charge system and and that will be my entire turn this time 
a uh, number of them. Uh, a number of them? Okay. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Southern Zombies. Let's see what they're up to. Now, they're not so fast. They only move six total, but they are. Southern Zombies. Pretty dun, good. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. You got some brains? <laughs> this truck don't run to any tree. <laughs> So, the green tree. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, so they are moving on Isaac, and Isaac is like, uh, you know, uh, you know, singing, uh, "I want to be an airborne ranger," and uh, you know, running down <laughs> that path. He's he just watched a, an old Terran movie. Um, I'm so he's the truck, Isaac. He's well, running. I thought the fire still got. I thought his fire was dying out. Still, still well, it's out. it's dying out. Uh, it'll it'll go out this round on the on the fire thing so all right weber you're up um well uh, as soon as i can I, you know, i'll put a cloth or whatever on my hand and pull the door open uh, i think i thought we'd already done that to make sure the, the door you know like the, the cockpit was clear you looked but, inside yeah it seemed clear and you and the, and the truck generally speaking is spore free right i mean it's uh, uh spore proof the spores if you're inside and the doors are shut and the windows are up the spores can't get in. They can get on it, but they can't get in it. So the like turn the, on the AC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, instant mushroom. Um, no, you should be fine. Okay, so I will. Uh, I'm gonna pull it like ah, ah fuck, and pull the door open. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna. What's her name? Like get in the goddamn truck. Train girl. Train girl. <laughs> Train girl. Get in the truck. <laughs> Train girl as, does not have a weapon, right? Uh, no, that none of them have weapons. None of yeah, the remember, uh, well, none of the two uh, whiskey guy had whiskey, and we've already put some of it to use. I believe one of us carrying a can of gasoline that we just used. So I think Car- girl holding it. Yeah, she was holding the kerosene. Yeah, that's what it was. All right. Well, yeah, I think girl- she. I think she has another gallon left, if I recollect right. correctly. Well, From- she can. Uh, she we can have, have a little barbecue later or something with it. Get in the car, um, and I'm like, Pius whiskey guy. Time to time to book. You got it. How how big how big is this cockpit? First of all. Like it'll fit. Do- it'll it'll fit up to like six people. All right, so we're gonna clown car this one when I pick up the rest of the gang. I thought you were skipping the rest of the gang. No, oh, no, that was a secret it plan. Yes, you ruined it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The uh, you're gonna kick the guy, the dead guy, off the, the hood. Now, as everybody gets in, as soon as Doyle reaches for the lock, I'm like, click. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in, guys. Guys, guys. Hey. Yeah, very, very, very funny. <laughs> All right, so you guys basically, so Pious Whiskey Guy, Train Girl, and Weber all basically open up. Weber, you yell out, get in, and everybody jumps in, and you, I'm assuming, close it up. Yep, I close it. I close it tight. I rev the engine and get ready to engage. I don't know how far, if I can move this turn or next turn, but I do want to ask. Can't move this turn. Uh, what If I decide to run somebody down, do I think this truck can handle it or no? Oh, yeah. This, they're, they're, these trucks are pretty solid. Um, they're made, they're, they're work trucks. Think Ford F-350. Right. Plus it's in a high gravity. So mm-hmm. they're going to, they're going to squish squash. Okay. All right. So I just want to know if I had to hit somebody. I don't want to, but uh, if I have to. <laughs> but if you see Tam, if I see you know, Tam. if he's on the ground. If he's asking for it. He's asking. I mean, well, it's, it's me, Tam. No, you look like Gawker. I can't, can't take it. I can't take it. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, dog. Right, um, let Is me that- just double check this too before, because as I recall, we came up between buildings. I don't want to drive through all the shrooms because they're going to go off all over the place behind us. So I guess I'm going to go straight down the street to here and, to, and try to pull up. Um, and, pull up over there by, yeah. by, the, by the train? Okay. Yeah, wherever wherever I think we can unload this sucker because um, it's probably going to take multiple people. Uh, to move the crates, yes. Yes. The crates themselves aren't massively heavy, but they are big and bulky and sort of awkward. So it'll take a couple of people each. That's what I remember. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for me. All right. Coolio. Uh, Dogtown. It is. uh, Let's see the dog. So this dog who just got punched in the head is going to deliver or hopefully deliver a very wobbly bite to scared Freddy, uh, which he does not. uh, Misses him. Uh, Doyle, you see you sort of languidly see those those uh, the, the crushed skull dogs. Jaws try to snap shut on Scared Freddy. He pulls back his hand. Ah, he's freaking out. This dog, I'm going to go. I don't know who he's going to be looking at. Dr. Wagner, you just jumped over the fence. You're making a little action there, but there's a lot of interesting things going on over here. 
So I'm going to go 50-50. Under, he goes towards Wagner. Over, he goes towards Freddie. And, uh, or, um, I'm sorry, low Wagner, high Freddie. Here we go. If Freddie's alive at the end of this, uh, at the end of our uh, time here, let's put, let's save a bullet for him, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Decided for Freddie. So it runs past you guys, Wagner, uh, and comes over to Freddie. Can he do it in four squares? Yes, he can. Uh, so he's going to give him a little B.I. Missed him. And then the fire spreads. We didn't know that Freddy's actually yeah, like a NPC level, um, you know, super skills. He's got extra uh, skill in Armin underneath all his, uh, his skin. <laughs> <laughs> scared Freddy's like, I was never scared. <laughs> I was just faking you out. All right. Round 16. Captain Black, you uh, a, a, a fresh magazine falls to the ground at your feet that Tam has said, give this to somebody who could shoot. Not doing. Well, that counts. Not, you know. <laughs> well, I can shoot. <laughs> I can shoot a. Will it cost me an action to pick up the magazine? <laughs> uh, no, I think you just grab it. You'll be okay. Uh, Give it to Eric. Um, so I step idea. out to here. Yep. Out of the fire. Use your alt key. There we go. <laughs> Very toasty Can right I there. Can I see the dogs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I shoot at that one? <laughs> sure. Doyle, heads down. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to drop to the ground. <laughs> Do you get pew, 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 pew. Uh, that is a hit. How much damage does your laser do? Did, did we three write that down? Plus three. Hold on. 3d6. Three All right. 36 plus 30. Yeah, plus three. Okay. So. Ooh, 17 points of damage. So that was the crushed skull uh, uh, dog, and you hit it miraculously past Doyle, past the other dog. You hit it in the, in the same head that scared Freddy punched, and it goes down. Yay. A little sizzle. Uh, as it goes down, and then, and then a I'll finish moving to here. Whoops! Alt, alt, alt. There. Okay, that's it. All right, hold on just a second, because a few seconds later, poof, poof. A few seconds later. What did I say? Two meters? I think it's two meters. No, no, no. That's not too much. That's too much. Ah, a quarter of a meter. That's what it is. It was way off. All right. Uh, there we go. That's more like it. Poof. And more spores get onto Scared Freddy, and he begins his wild, high, womanly screaming anew. Uh, all right. So that's that's it for you, Cap? That's it for me. Coffin Doyle. You're beginning to feel pretty mellow. You're certainly not worried about dying. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, sure. Um, that's me, Mr. Mello. Um, okay, cool. Um, doctor, this stuff is great. Um, feeling good. Uh, I, got, I have one shot left, right? You do. Um, great. I know you will. I'm going to aim again at this um, person here. And I, I'm sorry about it. You know, I'm feeling really mellow. Hate to shoot you, but I got to do it. So I'm going <laughs> to... Right, right. Well, I think he gets a bonus because he's calm and he's cool and he's steady. Feeling good. I'm feeling it. He's feeling it. I'm All right. Plus, when you're shooting at three targets at the same time, how can you miss? <laughs> That's well, a good point. Aim for the middle one. Uh, you know what? I'll aim for here. Okay. And yeah, here we go. It's 2d6 plus 3. I roll a... <laughs> Ooh, bam! I think you may have hit on something, Doctor Wagner. It's made his marksman. I knew I should have that much him better. Time. You should have sedated him. He should have been sedated before you guys left the shuttle. Uh, <laughs> that's a hit. Uh, you are using a body pistol. Do we know yeah. how much that damage that does? I think 10D6. it's three three d six, right? Three d six. Here we go. And I roll a sixteen. Sixteen. Not only do you hit the creature, but you manage to ping it 
right? You, I mean, you just drill it right through the right through the face. Goes out the other side. You see some of the spores dribbling out, and it Great. falls to the ground. Great. Yeah, you know, I wish I had more ammo. Um, I wish I had more bullets. He says. Yeah. Damn. You know, I just didn't come. Well, I hand him a tiger penis. <laughs> Here. It's some of the, the, the uh, fungus guys, and then the dogs will attack. <laughs> Because, you know, dogs love tiger penis. That is true. Dogs love tiger penis. <laughs> All right. Uh, more spores from the from the dead uh, the dead cordyceps zombie get on to Scared Freddy. You can physically, I mean, both Wag, Dr. Wagner, you and Doyle both can see. You guys are looking at Scared Freddy. He's losing his shit. He's continuing to lose his shit. He is covered in these spores uh, and has a couple of bites. So. In your medical, he's also starring in a, a Japanese bukkake movie. Ooh. Oh, that's that great! Don, what are you up to, stepwise? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting to it here. Wait, wait. Let's see, sixty-three hundred. Nice. It's getting there. It's getting there. All right, uh, they are just going. You're to an inspiration to us all, Don. I <laughs> I don't expect to come back until I hear the doctor's up because I'm right after him. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, they've surrounded scared Freddy and there's going to be a few bite. We're going to go uh, round the horn. So uh, nope. 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 Ooh, all of the miss. He is he is holding his water, but he is still covered with spores. Scared Freddy is going to punch a zombie in the head. Or try to anyway. And succeed for nine points of damage as he Go Freddy. this guy in the <laughs> face and crushes his face in. You can hear the 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 the, the mandibular and nasal uh, bones and cheekbones just going as he's just like slams them with this horrendous punch. Freddy's been the is a mission quotient to our crew this whole time. You gotta <laughs> save him. <laughs> He uh, he seems to be holding his own. Nobody seems to be able to put another bite on him, although he's covered in spores and he has other bites as well. Dr. Wagner, you have just medicated your security chief. What's next for you? <laughs> I take him back to my dorm room. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I drag no, I, him back to my dorm room. But let's be serious. <laughs> I, uh, I lob a tiger penis at this <laughs> spore baby. <laughs> All right, out, out from your, your uh, little haversack is a is a semi-frozen tiger penis. Would you chuck at the dog to see if it'll... No, it, it, because if I lob it at one of the spore babies, like maybe that one, the dogs would go, mm, tiger penis. Mm, well, these are sort of dogs. They were dogs. Were dogs. Uh, but now they're mushroom dogs, fungus dogs. So they may not behave in the exact same way as a, as a normal dog that would, you know, obviously a normal dog would react very positively to a tiger penis. Yep. These fungus dogs. You need to yeah. tweet that. <laughs> That's a premium item. At <laughs> Finally, the, 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 the game master gets to tweet his own quote. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Sorry. have a moment of silence. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, but a fungus dog? <laughs> While I tweak this out. So just so you guys know, uh, I've got the votes for the quotes, and uh, I will be tweeting, I will be sending out uh, the next bracket for funniest quote of 2021, uh, probably tonight after game. You got votes for the quotes. I got the I'm, I'm for curious the to see how some of them went. Oh, man. So, some of them had me cracking up. I know, I know. Is this the first round, Les? I don't think I've seen this yet. Uh, I'd, I'd like to argue that spore dogs, as well as regular dogs, love to press the added. flesh. I mean, they're, they're obviously attacking fleshy bits, so I, I would posit that they'd be very excited about a tiger penis. It's possible. <laughs> if it's moving. <laughs> So, Curtis <laughs> only has one job. <laughs> when the guy's like it'll trying to get it off it, it'll move. That uh, it would have been the uh, same email that had the uh, um, the Verm champion for 2021 listed in. Oh, I missed all that. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay, who was the Verm champion? Tom Rowe. 
Uh huh. All right. I uh, even got his. Uh, I'm making. I'm almost done making his trophy, but I've got his suitable for framing certificate ready to go. And how much did we donate last year? Uh, total uh, from Verms, it was 185. Uh, and, up to yeah, and I I, uh, I grossed it up to 200 even. So 200 bucks we sent to St. St. Jude's last year. Yeah. I just got my um, Twitter. What do you call it? The uh, journal where it's kind of in your quote already in there. I know he wants to be a hero. Ellipsis, but he <laughs> owes me money. It's already there. It's already up. It's already it's already ready. Uh, okay. So, Dr. Wagner. Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, I, I'm just going to lob a tiger penis. At, All right. One of the zombies. Now, are you going to like toss it or are you going to like whip it? Toss it away. <laughs> I'm going to whip it real good. Okay. <laughs> that tiger penis. <laughs> you can't just lob a tiger penis. You have to, you have to, you have to peg it. Um, all right. Uh, so you're throwing it at the green dot zombie? I think so. Yeah. That's probably right. my best angle. I'll tell you what, give me a, uh, I mean, you probably don't have any combat skills related to tiger penis throwing. So <laughs> give me oh, a, I got give, saber. <laughs> <laughs> Carbine. <laughs> Carbine? Uh, close, but I, I don't know. Uh, a give tiger me, give penis me. thrower from way back in the doctor <laughs> days. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> give, give, give me penis thrown back in anatomy class. Give me 2d6. <laughs> Let's see if you hit him. Uh, we use English rules when we do tiger penis throwing. 2d6. I don't know. I don't think I want to know what D stands for. <laughs> <laughs> it is girthy. Six, you missed you missed the green zombie, but you hit scared Freddy. Freddy is you're gonna do that. going around punching things, and all of a sudden <laughs> the tiger penis comes seemingly out of nowhere, hits him across the face, he begins screaming again, and it drops to the ground in front of him, where the dog looks at it, <laughs> looks at Freddy, looks at the penis again, and is sort of doing that thing like when you crimple. Uh, aluminum foil in front of the dog where they just go woo, 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 which is probably the doggiest this dog has acted so far he doesn't pick it up but he's very intrigued by it <laughs> do you, uh, you still have a move if you want to uh, go grab that and rethrow <laughs> oh I think I'm going to moonwhack behind <laughs> okay <laughs> You're going to slip in behind Doyle now that you've medicated <laughs> him. This is, this is going to be a great video. Um, all right. Uh, is that it for you then? Well, should I lob another penis? You have another action. You could. All right. I'll lob another penis. Save all the right. last penis for yourself, Doc. <laughs> just in case this goes bad. All right. <laughs> Give me another 2d6. Oh, boy. Snake eyes, a solid miss. This time, you hit the dog in the back of the head. And it bounces off. Now the dog is like, what is going on here? <laughs> it's raining tiger penises. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you've, you've thoroughly confused that dog. Uh, speaking of confused dogs, Mehmet Tam, you're up. Okay, so. The fire is spreading right across the top. Pardon? This fire is spreading across the top of the. I, I the know, camps. I know, I know. So How this item right here it looks like a bucket of water. Uh, it is. Uh, don't think it is. What you urine you got on you? I think it's a uh, lantern. It could be. Let me let me take a closer look here. D on the fire, Don. The well, I want this to be a bucket of water because this would be a rain barrel, which would make uh, this. Uh, that's true. Yeah, they do indeed look like rain barrels. Rain barrel. Okay, I'm gonna take my shirt off and and dump it in this rain barrel real quick. You wanna wash this this round? This round, I'm opening the barrel, or or if I need to, or whatever. But I'm getting my shirt wet. I'm gonna try to put oh, the fire out of the tank that gotcha. way. Gotcha. You're gonna use your shirt to sort of like slop water onto the top. Right. Of the Got it. Okay. You're gonna do it slow mo, like a like a like a college car wash. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> like that uh like that woman washing the car in um the steve that steve mcqueen movie i can't uh, think of the name bullet, of it. Uh, no the earlier one the, the one where he eats area. where he eats all the eggs he's in prison oh uh, uh, oh cool hand luke cool yeah. hand luke yeah, yeah. all right so, so you're yeah, here the train is charging now right it is charging yep okay so that's what i'm doing this round is i'm getting my shirt soaking wet to help keep the battery cool gotcha okay sounds good uh you still got eight bullets do you want to shoot anybody um i do not want to draw any attention to myself whatsoever captain shoot the captain yeah yeah shoot the captain <laughs> okay the only way to be sure you can be the captain then um, and I'm, I'm at six six five six uh oh uh, the steps Steps. Like, I'm 24, 35, 37. <laughs> All right. That's Why did run. Isaac not run? He should have ran. So I'm going to move him. One, two, three. Four, yes, moving four, five, Isaac. Seven, eight. So he's down there. He is outpacing these uh, um, these zombies. Who are moving? Who are ch still chasing him? They don't. They they cert they certainly don't seem to be following uh, you guys, uh, whoever up the. So the idea was that Isaac was going to lead them away from this alley, so that right. they didn't come. They didn't come directly to the to follow you guys up the alley to the truck. Um, and if I recall correctly, you guys went into the building for a brief moment of time too, yep. and kind of came out through there. So. All right, so that seems to be that plan seems to be working. Uh, Weber, you are, right. and your and your team of uh, of chuckleheads are now up. All right, I'm gonna step on the gas and hit the Daisy Duke uh, <laughs> and uh, and get the hell out of Dodge here. So All right. I'm playing it. I mean, I'm sure these zombies might be uh, attracted to me, but I am moving quickly and around this corner and. Hopefully this side of the train. I don't know if I would have identified where we could load this when we were getting off the train, but I would go to where I think my best guess is. Okay, hold on. I got to see if I can uh, get the... Uh... All right, cool. All right, uh, so... The car static on this map? Uh, not anymore. Um, so, <laughs> so you get it started. Uh, and uh, Pius Whiskey Guy is basically telling you, this is, use these controls. That's how, that's how you do it, because you're driving, right? Um, if I know how to drive, yes, I will drive. If All I right. don't know how to drive, I need to use some uh, some some skills. Do you have a ground car skill or any any sort of any Let's sort of vehicular see. skills? Body interrogation, recruiting, diplomacy, streetwise, streetwise, maybe. I don't know. Otherwise, no. Uh, streetwise, maybe. I could give you half on that. All right. You've, you've stolen yeah. a car or two in your time, brother. You know. All right. Let me. Uh... All right. So two D six plus one. Uh, yeah. What's your streetwise um one score one? Okay, yeah, two d six plus one. Let's see. Let's see what you get. Minus one. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, I thought I snake. No out. problem. All right. So where do you want to? Where do you want to take it? I was an Uber delivery driver back in my early days before the name. <laughs> All right. Um, I am. Uh, I'm taking it uh, right over here. All right. You're taking it towards the depot. Yeah. So when the explosion hits, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm behind. The, uh, the biggest piece of metal in town. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Sounds good. Um, now it, it moves relatively slow, but you will get to, but certainly faster than a person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you can get to here. Is that where you want to go? Yeah. I'm contemplating should I drive through the zombies and help keep everybody safe? Is, uh, or do I drive around? And now that I see the zombie pile of, people over here Oops, sorry uh we'll count we'll cross that bridge next turn but yeah that's fine that's all i can go on this turn yeah right. you got to start it up you engage the gears and you you basically took off yep all right sounds good dog yeah hey, uh, train girl find something good on the radio <laughs> <laughs> on it we need some dramatic music here we have two kinds of music on Tufik, country and western <laughs> <laughs> well girl uh, Dealer's choice. <laughs> All right. So I, I expect to hear the Benny Hill song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have that. Did I have that on air? I, sh I must. Surely I must. Uh, I don't. What the heck did 
did I just do? I left the fee. I left the game. I don't know what's going on. It's it's all a flutter. No. Everything sure is screwed up. Nerve endings. And it took me out. It made me a player. I don't know what the hell's going on here now. <laughs> Shall we get back to you later? All right, here we go. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> all right, we got we got the radio works. Uh, all right, so uh, dog, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the tiger tiger penis attack the benefit of the doubt here, and I'm gonna go over under on two d six uh, on one d six. Low means dog is confused by the tiger penis attack. High means the dog can act normally or would otherwise act normally despite the tiger penis attack. Here we go. One, the dog is confused by the plethora of tiger penises that seem to be raining out of the sky around it and does nothing this round. Yay. However, the fire continues to spread and it is starting to burn the, uh, the wooden planking around the thing. Mehmet, you might have a problem here. As the, as the planking begins to burn, Oops. You can see that one problem at a time. <laughs> you, you, while you might be able, while you might be able to keep oh, the shit. fire off the thing, if it collapses the wood, it will pull itself loose from the from the train. Probably hmm. permanently. All right, round 17. Captain Well. You think that's bad? You should see the guy. Uh, well, Eric, you were there. The Saturday night game that was like right. thirty rounds. Yes, Captain Black. Was someone calling for ammunition? <laughs> that Coffin Doyle. My kingdom. Coffin Doyle's like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, here's some ammo, and I tossed that ammo to his feet. All right. Of a uh, coffin, a fresh magazine lands next to you on the ground. This is the best drugs ever. <laughs> <laughs> First, I feel really good, and now it's raining ammo. Yes. Anna from <laughs> and and then I take a shot at the confused dog. All right. <laughs> Still alive. Thank you for the ammo. Thank you. All right. Looks like that's a hit. Hold on, I'm typing. Now it's raining ammo. <laughs> it was raining tiger penises. Now it's raining. <laughs> it's, ra it's just raining in this town. Everything's coming out it of the sky. Must be in London. <laughs> Oof! Awful damage roll. All right, what do we got? What do we got here? Uh, Ten points. I that hit, was a hit, but I did crap damage. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. You gotta, you kind of get it at a midships. So kind of goes through, and it's spilling out spores, but it's still on its feet. Still seems very confused by uh, the uh, the tiger penis assault. All right, is that it for you? It. All right, so ma a Cappy magazine turns into Coffin magazine, uh, and it's Coffin Doyle's turn. Okay, do I have um, how many rounds do I have? It's a ten round mag. Ten rounds, sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Um, I better start capping zombies. Um, uh, are these dogs looking at me now? Uh, the dog is confused. It's looking. It's looking at the ground. So you saw some 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 things uh, sort of come out of the sky one of them hit scared freddy you're not sure what that was okay but the um, dog's looking, looking at, at me ray okay with my uh right um cheek pressed close to, to the burning building getting a little singed All right um i'm gonna duck down and using as little movement as i can i'm gonna aim at this zombie here okay uh, i'm gonna um 2d6 plus 3, I roll a 13. 13 is a hit. And the it's damage, the drugs, man. It's, it's the, the it's the Wagner special. <laughs> right. It's made you into a marksman. Uh, you know, my my uh, pals, um, Wagner and Black, have just uh, put me back in action here. So back go, I, in. I roll a 9. <laughs> 9 points. That is going to be enough. You dry drops another one. Uh, and it gives off a little poof of... Uh, of uh of things as it falls down you have a very clear shot now at scared freddy if you want to put him out of his misery um i don't um he fights I, too well um <laughs> can i if i have one more shot can i aim at this guy here 
Uh, sure. Um, wait. Uh, uh, there's one, two, and three zombies, right? Uh, there are three zombies that are trying to bite scared Freddy right now, and they're sort of, got a sort, of, sort of surrounded. And also that dog, which is confused, doesn't seem to be biting anybody. It's sort of looking gotcha. at Okay, stuff. I say, Freddy, hang in there, and I shoot this guy here. All right. So, uh, 2D6 plus 3, I roll on 10. Ten's a hit. And I roll a uh, 9. 9 points. Not huge damage, but uh, the, you do see the bullet lodge into him, so he does do some damage. All right, you cool. Now, you are now down to 8 shots. Left. Eight shots. All right. The zombies are all going to try and bite Scared Freddy uh, because that is the, what they do. <laughs> Good point. Uh, all right. Uh, left to right. Nope. Nope. Nope, they still, Freddy seems to be holding his water. He's not only, uh, key, he's punching zombies and he's taking, he's, he's taking hits. It's his turn again. He's going to try and punch this guy again and hits him. He hits the same guy and does seven points of damage. Doesn't kill him, but you can see the guy's head snap back, crack uh, from the force of the blow. And it's sort of like hanging on to him and, you know, sort of off to the side where he, his teeth are just like, Kah. As he tries to get at him, so he's not going to be able to uh, do much. Doctor Wagner, you seem to—I be I mean, you're pretty much of the opinion that the tiger penis assault has worked uh, as intended. As I knew it would. And make sure you update your memoirs right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to update my resume. It's going to be a whole chapter in those memoirs. Well, I'm going to chuckle because uh coffin doyle thinks he's yelling hang in there freddie but we're really doing a uh, uh, and then <laughs> I, I'm, I'm imagining that uh young gun scene we're all riding the horse backward like we're in a, we're in a spirit world when all play <laughs> <laughs> but you know i, I smile benevolently because you know in coffin doyle's mind he's just you know clint eastwood times 10 um he's dropping them yeah, so I, all I can really do is just, uh, is there anything I can do right now to help heal him or aid him, stop the bleeding? Uh, the ble He's okay. I mean, from a wound standpoint, the wound is relatively minor. Uh, bleeding is more or less trickled to a stop. I mean, it wasn't very deep. The problem is the problem is what is carried now into his bloodstream. Um, you know, the, he's not he's not deeply injured. Uh, he's only down like three hit points. But um, but you know that the real danger to him is the is the is the cordyceps fungus, which is which is in his bloodstream. OK. Um... Now you slowed him down pretty good. His metabolism is down. His heart rate's probably in in is fairly low. He's 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 chill, uh, so it will slow it down. And hopefully you can you can you know keep that cordyceps from landing in his organs, um, because once that happens, it's 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 there's not much you can do for him. I don't want to become an organ grinder. I'm gonna just uh, stay here, uh, hiding behind coffin and patting myself on the back for having the foresight to grab tiger penises and sedating our... <laughs> so you're not, you're not going to move or, uh, or maneuver? Where am I going to go? Well, I don't know. There's a big fire. I'll, I'll jump into the fire then. <laughs> Perfect. Um, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I don't know. Never take me a fire alive, Cordy. Ah. I, Tam, I mean, Tam got... did, you, did you actually yell that or... No, because okay. I am trying not to draw attention to myself. Got it. Okay. <laughs> well, All right. There I is see... a huge fire that they can see. <laughs> can I see him? Is he gesticulating? No, you can't. You can't see Tam. Uh, he's on the whole other side. Of oh, that yeah. Fire. You can't see me. Give, no. give me, uh, Andrew, give me a quick, um, a quick uh, med check with your full bonus. Um, okay. Yep. I'll wait for my turn. Let's see. Fourteen. Okay, so you're looking at Doyle. Doyle has now slowed down quite a bit, and you're trying to figure out how best to sever the arm at some point. You're pretty sure you're you're a little worried that doing it out here in the field 
could be problematic from a bleeding out standpoint. But you think about what you got in your, in your case that you have with you, your med kit, and you think you can pull it off. Sorry, Not the arm. The, the arm. <laughs> well, yeah, probably. I mean, you know that it's even even though you slowed down his bloodstream, it's still spreading. And if, it, right, and so if it gets to his organs, it gets to his brain. I happen to have a no. weapons bonus for uh, <clears throat> amputated arms. Okay. So I'm definitely Perfect. jumping all over that. All right, you uh, you're gonna have to get him to sit still, though. Well, he's pretty sedated. Yeah. And even if I can't get him to sit still and the cut's not terribly clean, he won't feel it, and he won't feel what I'm sewing him up. So. <laughs> uh, That's very combat. reassuring, isn't it, Coffin? Very reassuring. Don't worry, Coffin. Um, you won't feel a thing. Isn't Coffin all he hears me saying? <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody's now sounding like Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's Dr. Wagner, Dr. or uh, Mr. Tam. So you pull your your uh, shirt out. I threw my shirt off, dunked it in the thing last time, right. turned to look, and the fire is going to be too much for this shirt to put out. Well, you could you could probably put it out on the canister. The problem is that the, the, the platform is going to become unstable. Right. So I'm going to throw the shirt up on the canister. Okay. Okay. So it'll kind of do it. And then rush over to here. I'm going to use this bucket. Okay. And start like bucketing water Just onto. Bucketing water onto the platform. Okay. And splashing up on the thing. So shirt's here this round and I make it to here this round. <laughs> All okay. right. Sounds now, good. I want to know one thing. Mm -hmm. I want to give Doyle a perception check to spot me. Uh okay, yeah he's in he's in he's in position to see you right. So I want to know if he sees me or not. Uh, I'm not yelling, but if he sees me, I'll wave. Perception, you know, um, like you know, get over here and help me. Perception uh, is based on your intelligence bonus, so you have a okay. pretty good one actually. I do. Um, I, I do. So it's, it's um, shall I? And that's what I'm doing. That? Uh, less shall I roll that? Please, please. Uh, Coming up, uh, it's um, 2d6 plus my... What? Yeah, the, how, whatever the bonus is above eight. Uh, so what's okay. your Intel score? Oh, okay, you got it. Uh, wow, okay, so 13. Yeah, you do see him. Now, um, what Tam doesn't know is that you're pretty high. Yeah, uh, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so Doyle, you do see uh, Tam. He's got, he's like... Hey, a, he's, got a, but he's like, yeah. Hey, Mehmet. Great. Hey, man. Mehmet. Wow, what you doing up there? He's got, he's got a bucket, and he's splashing water around. So that looks fun. Uh, maybe, opinion, maybe, man. maybe you could go and help him with that. Maybe uh, right. All right. Here we go. The surrounding uh, uh, zombies that are looking to finish off Scared Freddy. Here we go. Oh, man. I can't, I can't bite anything lately. Nothing. All right. So uh, they still, Freddy's still managing to stay out of the bites of the remaining zombies, but they are uh, pummeling him. He's covered in spores. They are all over him. They're surrounding him. Uh, you know, he's breathing it in there. I mean, Dr. Wagner, from your point of view, Freddy is almost certainly toast. Hey, as long as he's standing up and keeping the dogs and zombies away from us. He's go. keeping them busy. Uh, all right, Weber Jix and, and his uh, team of guys. What are you guys doing? All right, the Eagles who dared. Okay, um, <laughs> how many zombies are down the street now? Can I see where from where at? Just trying to decide if I make a right turn or a left turn. Uh, turn to the safe bed, but I'm give me to give me an intelligence roll. Uh, you're kind of you're probably going to move forward a little bit. I got an eleven. Can... So that's uh, that's plus two or plus three. Uh, eleven is plus three. Nine, yeah. So you, yeah, you could see, well, you see a group of zombies around the corner, sort of over the, you could see them over the top of this sort of patio here uh, in front of the, whatever this building is. And you can see them and they've got, it looks like they're surrounding somebody, but you can't tell from here who it is. Would I be, do, do, just with my in, in intelligence check, would I be able to gauge, would I, would I have traction to get over all these uh, corpses in the street? This truck, yeah, you, you're, your guess is that this truck is pretty 
substantive. Uh, probably has got four wheel drive. Your, your guess is that those dogs aren't going to give it much of a problem at all. You know, you know what? I'm actually, I'm changing my mind here because I realize we got to unload this thing. And I don't want to get spores all over the damn truck. So I'm going to avoid this thing here and okay. come up behind, like I said. So I'm going to crank it to the right. Um, and uh, we'll roll down the window when we get to Mamma Tam here. <coughs> All right, cool. So you're gonna make a you're gonna make a left. Yeah, make a uh, left. Use my right. blinker, you know. It, safety first. All right. So you end up here. You roll down the window, and you're like, "Hey, Tam, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Tam? I thought you were over by the battery. He, he's trying to put out the uh, to put out a fire. He's, he's, he's basically <laughs> throwing bucket after bucket of water onto right. the onto the burning train platform." Is there more than one bucket here? Uh, no, it was just a single bucket. All right. Um, then there's probably nothing. I don't use know your shirts. Bucket. Use whatever. Just use your All hands. Right. I don't care. Get train, water on this fire. <laughs> train girl, pious whiskey guy, get over there. Start helping. All right. Whiskey they, guy's got a bottle <laughs> of whiskey. Um, <laughs> that's not going to help you. She All can right. empty the kerosene thing. Oh, they went. Never mind. So no, no. train girl actually jumps out and runs over to here and like begins like muscling that barrel out and trying to, to lift it up and dump it i think remember these two are really strong all right uh pious whiskey guy is like uh you know he says to you mehmet do you want do you want me to lift the barrel yes oh sorry that's the, don where'd don go <laughs> don't he's, be sarcastic he's, he's only got about two thousand more steps to do Yes, yes, do that. <laughs> All right, so Pius Whiskey and I will begin lifting that barrel as well. Uh, Weber, you're staying in the car? I, the, my mission is more important at this point to get this medicine to safety, so I'm, I'm going to – I feel bad about abandoning them, but I'm going to get this around the corner first. So I just right. know the car won't be blown to bits when the battery goes. If it so goes. The, the truck tires, like, once they get out, the truck tires are like in the dust and begin moving down to the south. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dog. Uh, is he still confused by the tiger penises? High uh, is no. Low is yes. He is not. The tiger penis gaff has elapsed, and he is going to bite or try to bite Scared Freddy. And he does bite Scared Freddy. Sorry, Freddy. For ah. Two points of damage as he reaches up after after shaking off the. Uh, the mesmerizing effect of the tiger penis is he looks up at Scared Freddy, who is punching this guy in the face. He leaps up, grabs Scared Freddy by the throat, who emits a gurgle and falls forward. And they both fall forward into the dust as the dog is savaging out his neck. Wow. Ugh. Ew. Scared Freddy is gone. But he will sing songs. Pretty. He will, he will song, not be forgotten. Songs about you, yes. His people will remember Scared Freddy. All right. The fire does not spread because of all the water. So, Tam, good job. You keep it from spreading anyway. That's good for now. And now you've got help. So that is awesome. Round 18 starts now. Captain Black. You see Scared Freddy, Freddy. go down. Freddy. <laughs> oh. yeah, doing, his, doing his William Defoe in Platoon. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, I was I there with you. The dog. Be okay. Too late. Oh, oh missed him with a laser. Pshoo, laser. If, if it's Freddy. If I don't move, do I take a second shot? Can I take a second shot? Yes. Okay. Uh, but how, well, but fall. you have more than enough shots, right? Yes. Okay. Was that another six? It's identical. Is that possible? Uh, it's possible. All right. It just happened. Log out. Log back in. Yeah, re refresh day. your browser, dude. Uh, all right, <laughs> two two laser shots later. Ooh, and really? Nothing. Low. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but those lasers, you see those lasers are slamming into the the, the uh, uh, wooden walls of the building across the way. I was, I was too upset about Freddy. I wasn't aiming right. <laughs> well, every, every, all, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Doyle's skills have gone up. The captain's skills have gone down. It's Chris Cross. <laughs> um, speaking of Coffin Doyle, whose skills have gone up, it's Coffin Doyle's turn. Okay, great. Um, so um, I, I, I want to take out. Uh, is that dog going to turn around and bite me? Well, 
these guys so cordyceps zombies are not necessarily interested in eating the people yeah. uh they've they're interested in passing along the the virus so um yeah. the, you know the fungus so he's probably now that he's got scared freddy essentially infected and waiting to revive um he is uh he's probably going to look for other targets next round okay i'm gonna uh, shoot the dog sorry doggy Okay, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go on um, 11. That's a hit. Yes, kill Freddy. Uh, <laughs> Don't be sorry. Five? Oh my god. Yeah, five points. However, is enough. He only had two hit points left. Great. Uh, so the dog goes down in a in a single bullet. It's not right. really a hail of gunfire. It was just a, one bullet. But uh, do I have that's okay. one more shot? You do. I'm gonna go for that guy here. All right. Uh, I'm gonna roll. This a, could uh, this could be a fourteen is a hit, and I do um, thirteen, 13 points. points of damage. A two kill round for Coffin Doyle. He I pegs know. that guy too. So now they're high every time. <laughs> this the, the stuff you gave me, Doctor. This is great. Uh, you know, First one's free. <laughs> First <laughs> one's free. free. So I'm down to six rounds, right? You're down to six rounds, but you just killed two zombies, so uh, that is good. Whoops, hold on a second. I got 56 in there. That's no good. All right, so that's Coffin. He is a shooting fool. All right, the zombies are now unfettered, and they are Nobody going to... Uh, I think the only people they would see would be Dr. Wagner and Doyle, so they are going to move... Well, hold on a second. They might I mean, there was just a truck came around the corner, so they might be interested in the truck. So let me, I'm going to do 50-50 on this. High is the truck, low is Doyle. For the left one, Doyle. The right one, Doyle. Jesus. Uh, so they just step forward over here. Mm -hmm. Ah. And uh, take a few bites. Hold on a second. Let me get these guys yeah, on the nice. top. Yeah, they're Doyle. All right, here we go. First one. Nope. And second bite. Nope, but close. Ah, uh, scared Freddy is no more. So he is out of the initiative. See ya, Freddy. Uh, Dr. Wagner, you see two zombies just approach and try to bite Coffin Doyle. He seems unconcerned. <laughs> This is great. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's all just chill out, right? It's, you see Coffin slowly put his hand out to one zombie's forehead. He's just holding them. The zombie's just like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. I'm going to grab a rubbing alcohol infused towelette. Okay. Ignite it and toss it at the zombies. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, which zombie are you throwing it at? Uh, this All of one, them. I'm, I'm assuming. Well, a towelette, you can only really, it's only one target. Oh, all right. Fine. That one. Uh, okay. One you indicated. You thought Closest. you were throwing the tarp at. The tarp right. would be more than one. Uh, he doesn't have a tarp. He has a he's a towelette. It was a joke. It was a oh, joke. Okay. <laughs> it's right. an exploding towelette. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got it. All right. Uh, go for it. All right. Uh, okay. Let me roll. 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 What did you roll? A ten. ten. You hit it with the towelette. So the towelette uh, with a roll like that, the towelette is now burning and actually sticks to the chest of the guy. Give me a D6 roll. Just one D6. Okay. Let me... <laughs> you roll a two. All right. So the towelette has you throw the, the flaming towel at, at the zombie, it manages to hit it in the chest and it sticks to it. Um, and then its clothing, dry uh, and as it is, begins to uh, begins to ignite. And it begins, God darn it, I can't, 
get stupid fire thing. Uh, hold on a second. Fire. I see fire. I've seen rain. I've seen sunny, I've seen days. sunny days that I thought would never end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it does seem to be burning. Uh, it is burning the creature. And if I can get it to get the hit point damage in there. Anything. So the fire seems to be spreading on the creature's chest. Doyle, the zombie in front of you is on fire. Or it's starting to catch on fire. All right. Uh, Dr. Wagner, do you want to uh, do you want to move at all? Or are you gonna stay right there? Um, I think I'll I'll stay where I am. You're gonna stick. Okay. okay. Mehmet Tam. Okay, we're concentrating our water efforts. All right, they are joining your team, so they're going to go and you are, and train girl, okay, so you, so train girl, you yell out to train girl, focus on the, on the charger kind of thing? Right. Okay. After we get this safe, we'll start working this way. Okay. She lifts up that bucket and tosses it onto the thing, but most of it hits the body of the of the thing. Uh, she's got another shot of it. She's going to try again. She's put out, there was fire along the sides and stuff like that. There's right, still right. fire on top, which she sort of missed. Well, we'll uh, get there. <laughs> all right. Pious Whiskey <laughs> Guy. Help. That helps. Pious Whiskey Guy grabs his barrel and uh, throws it across the, the thing and does get a fair amount of it off, but uh, a lot of it is like dribbling through. He missed a little bit. They each have another half barrel worth of water to throw. Hey. All right. What about you? You, you throw your bucket on there? I throw my bucket on there. All right. Sploosh. Uh, um, I tell them, I, I tell train girl to pour the water so that it's more controlled. Okay. I want bonuses for her next time. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Sounds good. All right, that is Tam. Zombies. Oh, these are the southern zombies who are still trying to catch up with Isaac. Now, Isaac is down there, and he is still leading them on uh, to try to make it a, a wide turn. Raising. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's making a lot of noise over there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. All right, and say so they are uh, uh, sort of like Moving, oh, coming towards him. So he does that. Weber Jicks. All right. So uh, Train Girl and Whiskey Guy have joined uh, Tam's team. You are, again, locked in. the. You are sealed in the truck. Yep. I'm going around the front of the, the train and then pulling over the tracks and heading down the other way. All right. So you're, what, where are you going? Um, let me see. Let me pull up the map here. The, so you're going south? I'm going this way. Okay. Crossing the tracks right here, and then ultimately ending up here, hopefully. Uh, you have to go down further than that, because this train, this is just the engine of the train. There's a couple of train cars that are sort of not shown here. Um, oh, okay, the train this way, then? I thought it came yeah. this way. No, Maybe no, no. My choice would be better. It's to pointed that way. All right. If that makes sense. Yeah, I misunderstood. Um. I think I got to help my friends out. I'm going to back up and then head, head straight for the, the zombies. All right. I thought that I thought the train uh, ended here and I was crossing over. No, they're, they're, it's got two like train cars that are on the tracks in this area. So you'd have to, you could, you could get around it, but you'd have to go south and then come back up. Yeah. Now the truck moves like 12 squares. So, I mean, you theoretically could do that. You'd probably get to around here. Oops, sorry. Like, if you went all the way around the train, cross the tracks, you could probably be headed north on this side of the tracks, like right here. Do you see where that's going off? Yeah. Okay. That will put me back basically where I want to be by next round, right? Yep. Is that what you want to do, or do you want to turn around? Yeah, and, uh... I'm trying to look at my rearview mirror and see how bad it looks back down there. Uh, give me an intelligence check. You look in the rearview mirror, you cannot. There's still some zombies there, although it does seem to be fewer before. You don't know what they're up to. And you said I can go 12, so I can plow right into these suckers this turn, right? Uh, yeah, you have to sort of spin it on a dime, but yeah. All right, your, all right so you're going to, you're actually going to throw it in reverse, back up to here, turn it around. 
Okay, and then move forward. Yep, and just step, step on it. All right, you're just going to slam into into like that, or are you going to be like uh, putting no, north? More straight, yeah, more straight. I don't want to hit, I don't want to be hit, parked in a burning building. Okay. There we go. All right, so you are coming up through here. So you will hit them next round. Sure. All right, because you had to pull around and do a three-point turn. No more dogs. The dogs are gone, and that's all the dogs. Wow. I cannot believe it. Uh, the infusion of water is keeping the fire from spreading. So that is doing well. Um, uh, round uh, 19. Captain Black. I can see this guy, right? Yep. He's okay. on fire uh, from a fl flaming moist towelette. Alcohol soaked. <laughs> oh, come on. Hold on, hold on. That's the same thing again. No, it's a two one instead of a one two. Holy crap! That's some good rolling, buddy. And then a one. <laughs> wow! Wow! Hey, you know what? I rolled two one one two as well. <laughs> Something's wrong. All right, I am logging off for a second and coming back. That's the end of my turn. All right, all right. Coffin Doyle. These zombies, well, one zombie's on fire, which is interesting. Uh, the other zombies, they're trying to bite you. Right. You seem okay with it. You figure this is point blank range. This is my specialty. I got to um, shoot one zombie twice. I, I got to reduce the number of bites coming at me. I'm going to, um, which one is hurt most? That well, one? it looks like the one directly in front of you is, is a little bit on fire. I, I'm going to shoot that one twice. Okay. Here we go. Here, here, here's the first shot. Um, Boom, that's a hit. All right, and 3d6, I do 13. 13 points of damage. Bullet slams into it. Cool. And I'm going to aim again and go. I get a, an 8. 8, that's also a hit. And I do uh, 14. 14, it only, had, it only had 10, so he puts it down. Whew. Sweet. Uh, hey, Les. Right. Yes. Confirming, house address, 39 is the number, right? Uh, how, uh, my house? What's the, what's the house number? My Long house number? Yeah. yeah. 776. Oh, White shit. Horse. Okay. White Horse Lane. 776 White Horse. Okay. Yep. Is that like a cotton pony? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> I've, lived here, I've lived in this house for like almost 21 years. Wow. Uh, all right, so that's Coffin. Uh, you are doing that. It's the zombies. There's one left. He's going to try and bite you. He's got to put a little bite on you, uh, but fails to do so. Dr. Wagner, you're thinking, as good as he shoots now, another dose might make him... <laughs> might might oh make him, Well, it might make him either that or it might make him the best shot on this planet. <laughs> you don't fuck with great you just don't he's just he's shooting like robin hood he's planting them um uh, i'm not doing anything i want him to pay me back money i gotta keep him alive all right so you just hanging back um well let's see well one thing you guys should notice is that there is a truck headed your way which I, i'm not in its path no. So, uh, I guess I'm going to pee on the train to help squelch the fire. All right. So, you're just going to, like, uh, you know, like, uh, you're going to pull the old uh, strange brew. Uh, yeah, something. Got it. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, all right. Captain Black, in a strange turn of events, you see Dr. Wagner unzipping and turning towards the fire. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Tam. All right, second blast from let me let me do the second blast from pious whiskey guy. Oh yeah, sploosh. He gives it the big sploosh. How about from Train Girl? Also better, not better, as yes. better, not as great. <laughs> She's trying, but it does seem to have receded a bit uh, after that. And you're doing the same thing, right? Or yes. are, you, are you now? They seem to be not well, doing the bucket. Yeah, you're doing the bucket now. Train Girl and Pious Whiskey Guy are both now pretty much out of water in those barrels. But there are some nearby other barrels, one here and a couple over by this building, which you could grab. 
Yes, they could. <laughs> they could. Uh, all right. Are you going to do anything other than bucket? I'm looking for, okay. Uh, no, because I'm not as strong as they are. No, you're not. Um, I'm going to go up and grab my shirt and try to do a little bit of control of it. The uh, swat the top kind of thing? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. The shirt is still wet because of some of that, right. bucket, that bucket action from Train Girl. Right. Uh, so if those guys go get the barrels and everything and me using the shirt for fine tuning it, I think we're going to be okay. I think you might be. Uh, you still have eight bullets, which gives you an opportunity to shoot Train Girl and Pious Whiskey Guy if you want. Well, we'll wait till the end. Okay. Let, let them put out the fire first. All right. Southern Zoms. Uh, they are going to keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. They are closing the distance. Isaac slowing down to make sure that they don't lose sight of him. The zombies going after him as he sneaks away. He's going to go a little bit further he's avoiding the uh he's going between the things but at one point this one is like pop and some spores get on him as he moves forward Sploop. Oh, he set off the spot the thing uh, remember what are you doing now you are in the truck you are bearing down on the last remaining zombie. You can see Dr. Wagner and uh, Coffin. One of the zombies just fell, and you can see Coffin, like, you know, beginning, and he begins to wheel his gun around, and he looks like he's pointing it at you. I'm going to drive straight. Through, I'm going to avoid Coffin and Doc and drive straight and through the final zombie. Okay, so you're going to, like, so, so are you going to, so the zombie is kind of off to your left. Are you going to try and like side swipe him and try and knock him into the fire? Maybe. Um, wait, where, where is he? Can you, can the you last can... zombie is right here. Oh, but he's right on top of uh, Doyle, right? Yeah. He's pretty close. I mean, you could, you could try and wing him though. I'm afraid I'll hit Doyle though. Uh, who's, when is, when is you Doyle? Feel go? It. When does Doyle go? He goes, what does he go before the zombies? Uh, he goes immediately before the zombie, yeah. Um, Is that the last, last zombie? No, but it's the last one anywhere near the building. Near the building, okay. Um, how about I, yeah, I'll drive right up and I'll try to pin the zombie into the fire um, just for a second. All right, so you're going to like sort of scooch to the left and just sort of like bonk him into the fire kind of thing. Right. What I don't want to do is kill him right there and he just poofs all over uh, Weber. Or, uh, sorry, Doyle. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right. So you, let me do my this. cattle guard on front. You just go bam, and you uh, swap into this guy. So um, give me two d six. Any uh, any skills or decks or anything? Nope. Just straight up. Okay. <laughs> bet you. I bet you roll a one and a two. <laughs> five all right that did not go exactly as planned while he did you did bonk him into the the building essentially this is a platform so he does catch fire a little bit uh but he essentially rolls over oh that's that's you you don't do that he rolls past you kind of like bonked him uh into doyle and he sort of Very like well. bonk bonks god damn it uh he bonks into doyle get on the hood doyle let's drive over him now that said it does knock him over and he, so he's prone uh so he has to stand back up and he's a little bit on fire from catching from the from the side of the from the side of the building uh but he lands basically doyle he lands on you okay sorry doyle. Damn. i didn't go as planned do i All take right. any damage weber do you want to get out of the car uh, you don't take any damage, but your guess is that you think idly, well, I probably got some spores on me. Uh, well, I'm not sure I could do it to help. I could shoot the thing, but then I'm going to definitely explode it all over Weber. I, could I, 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 do I have room to get out of the car and grab it by its leg and drag it backwards, maybe? Off of Doyle? Uh, sh sure. All You're right. going to grab a fungus zombie with your hand? Yeah, Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, you could. I I won't stop you. What do I got in this car? Do I, I can't stop you. You're the, well, you also have to walk over the tops of several dead 
Cordyceps zombies. All right, I, I'll stay here. I got to get this medicine out of here. So as soon as uh, if Doyle needs assistance, I'll pop out of the car. All right, so you're going to stay in the car for, for now. All right, fire seems to be not spreading. This may be, I think this is the big round. Round 20. 20 even. Captain Black, you hear the sound of a truck and a zombie gets thrown onto Coffin Doyle. <laughs> Does Coffin Doyle seem aware that there's a zombie? He seems him? aware of it. He sort of pushes him away, sort of like, get him off. <sighs> You're harsh and, in my and mellow. I think my theory at this point is that we've all been exposed. Uh, not Weber. Yeah. Well, I don't see Weber. That's true. Not so Tim. I'm, I'm going to just shoot at the zombie and try to kill him. All right. Wait, 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 wait. He's on top of he's on top of Doyle. Well, Doyle sort yeah, of pushed Doyle. him off, but all right. Doyle's already been doused. He threw the zombie into Doyle. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's much better. That is a hit. Your first one all night, I think. <laughs> Part of Doyle's 14 hair. points of damage. Oh, that's guess how many hit points it has. 15. Just guess. No, nope. one. Four, 14. It has 14 hit points. Yay! So you kill it, but poof, it explodes pretty much all over Coffin. Oh, really? Yeah. You, well, it's right next to you. It's on top of you. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's practically on top of you. Ah. So, yeah, you're covered in spores, dude. Oh, geez. Uh, it's your turn, though. <clears throat> you don't care. <laughs> Get out of here. Take your clothes off. Right, Find so. a source of water. <laughs> okay. Um, are there any living zombies near me? Not that you can see, but there is a big um, truck. Great. Um, i got to... Um, if I'm covered in spores, I'm going to... I got it stripped down. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to take off all the clothes that have spores on them. All right. All of them. <laughs> all right. Uh, coffin disrobes. <laughs> and is there any source of water nearby? Uh, there actually, so the if you, so if you look around, you can see that there is a water barrel here. Okay. Uh, on the other side of the thing, and it looks like there's another one over here. That seems to be the closest. These right. two seem to be the closest. I say, pardon me, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm real stoned, but you know, I gotta get this stuff off me. I gotta go to that barrel, um, over. Um, somebody point me to the barrel, please. Where's stoned, the barrel? stoned, naked, and infected is no way to go through life, coffins. <laughs> <laughs> get it together, man. All, All right. right. Or is it? <laughs> or is it? Coffin gets up and uh, he uh, uh, takes off his clothes and runs past the captain uh, to this barrel. In uh, that's, I think you won't have a chance to get in it yet, but you will be able okay. to get in it next round because okay. you're busy sort of tearing off your pants and shirt as you go over. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Wagner, you see Coffin tearing off his clothing, and you're thinking, why not me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, if you you know, you were already peeing on the fire. I mean, you're only a hop, step, and a jump from a from full. I've got my shirt off. A la coffin, yeah. <laughs> Tam's got his shirt off. It's it's spring break. I'm thinking, what am I in the fucking Greek Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's you okay. and me, Rassel. <laughs> at the, same, at the same time, you're torn because you know that pants always beats no pants. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was shirts and no shirts. Uh, um, I'm just, you know, I'm, you know, uh, I'm going to let the, I'm just going to pee on the fire. I, I, I'm shocked. I don't know what else to do. Oh, I love I that you're like three meters away or like three meters away from this fire. <laughs> That's a good pee um all right so you're just going to continue to urinate on the fire trying to push it back a little bit and uh and uh, maybe say okay that's cool well you, you know i shout to my uh, colleagues hey should i just pee on the fire or you want me to jump in the truck <laughs> uh 
Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Coffin, Coffin, Captain, what do you guys think? We got to unload this truck, guys. So that's uh, whatever you guys want to do. But why don't, why don't you let me get out of the pile of zombies before you jump into the truck? All right. I'll just I'll okay. just hold and pee on the, on the train until we're ready. All right. Tam. Okay, so I'm still working on the on on controlling the fire out. The the train's being charged. The truck with the drugs on it has temporarily moved away, yep. so I can't help with uh, unloading it onto the or loading it onto the train. Right. So I'm just going to work with the fire right now. I'm still working with the fire with uh, train girl and whiskey guy. All right. So pious whiskey guy and train girl have sort of split in different directions. Pious whiskey guy is headed this way to go grab this barrel. Right. And train girl is headed this way to go grab this barrel and they are both grabbing those barrels so you're going to stay where you are next to i'm staying hour. yeah i'm staying up here uh let me oh you got you got here. back on the platform to get your shirt right okay so you're on the platform and you're just swatting at the fire on the top you're having some success frankly your shirt is probably ruined uh oh, yeah I think, yeah i think but uh i think you know if it if it keeps the battery from blowing up well spent <laughs> well spent yeah all right so that's what you do uh let's see oh we've got movement down at the end all right uh, so he's going slow he cuts there Boop. uh so he's like come on you dirty dogs follow me follow me um and he's bringing him around he can see that the truck is not there anymore so he begins isaac begins moving west down the primary pathway uh weber you're up you are in the truck zombies are dead wagner's peeing and you don't see doyle i will go straight ahead and stop here and okay. pop the door like saying meet me at the other side uh the train so you can unload this bitch all right actually i'll just i'll just roll on the window so i don't, I don't have to slow down Okay, so you're as you drive over, it's like as you drive over a bunch of bodies. Yeah. Um, you end up over and part what like you're driving this direction. Yeah, I, unless I thought this fence was so flim flimsy, I could drive right through it. It's not very big. You probably could drive through it, but it's not very far. I mean, you could just go around. So you're basically going around this little paddock, right? I'm flipping a bitch right here. Okay, all right. So you will be able to do that. And as you drive by, you yell. Uh, meet me on the other side. Yeah, you're like, what? <laughs> this life or the next? Yeah. All right. So you end up about <laughs> there. Yep. All right, and then you stop, or are you continuing uh, to drive? I'm, yeah, I'm continuing to drive. I got to get all the way down to here. Okay. All right. So Wherever are, I think a cargo door is. All right. You are driving south along the tracks. Yep. Okay. Pretty bumpy over there. Fire seems to be pretty moistened and it's going, it's moving backwards. I mean, so Tam, you are having some success getting that fire off of there. You've, you've almost got all of the fire off the containment unit. Uh, give me a quick, uh, um, give me a quick Engineer. engineering. Yeah. Uh, that's a 15. Yeah, you're not sure if there's any damage. You see that there's some scorching on the housing uh, yeah. and, and that kind of stuff, and you're not sure if that damage has penetrated into the battery itself yet. Uh, you can't see from here whether or not the, the, the it's still charging. In fact, you probably, to, to determine the rate of charge, you probably need to be inside the train looking at the controls. There's no, there, when, you, when you attach it, there didn't look to see any controls okay. on the unit um, once that would indicate that it was charging. Once Pious Whiskey Guy and Train Girl get back, I'll do that. All right. So you're going to try um, and get back in the train. But I'll stay right this round right here. I'm staying right here. They're okay. not back yet. They're just picking that up. So, yeah, next round is probably when I'll head to the train. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. That was a heck of a round. But we go into 21. 20 wasn't the dead the end round. Captain Black. All right. So yeah, there's we're a lot still of in combat. Keep, your, uh, keep frosty. All right. There's maybe something still out here. Uh, so Captain Black, a lot going around on you. Dr. Wagner is peeing on the fire, but having moderate success. Uh, <laughs> Coffin yeah, Doyle, Coffin Doyle has stripped off all his clothes and is getting into a water barrel. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a truck with Weber at the wheel, and the yard rolled down. Weber's like, 
hey guys i'll be back to pick you up later and uh you see him like he rips around the paddock and now he's driving south along the other side of the train track and the, and i see the crates in the truck you can see the crates in the truck yeah it's an open back truck all right like so I, I call out to, to the doctor and say, when you're done relieving yourself over there, would you like to join us over by the train? He's been pissing for like 18 solid seconds at this point. <laughs> which, which is impressive. It is impressive. And then I, uh, I, I go grab coffee and I say, dude, we're all covered in this crap. We need to get on the train and then the doctor's going to have to use the medicine on it. Yeah. It's that tiger, ground up tiger penis giving him girthiness uh, to put out fire from a distance. In your addled, in your drug addled state coffin, you wonder if this is the right idea to get in the train before before a little wash up. Uh, however, it is the captain, so I'm going to leave it up to you what you think you would do. Um, if okay, captain is saying get in the train. He's saying get in the train. He's like, we're all covered in it. Don't bother washing up. Let's get in the train and let the doctor handle it. Wash up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna um uh, douse my my douse myself in water as thoroughly and hastily as I can. Then um, where's the train? It's so it's the blue squares on gotcha, the track. Gotcha. All right, you know what? And fine, I, I, I'll get out of my barrel. Actually, if I could get some su suspenders and hold the barrel up over me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Not, only, not only is coffin infected he's poor <laughs> he's poor and from the 1700s <laughs> yeah. all right so that is doyle so you splash yourself and then you're uh and then you're getting you're gonna move onto the you're gonna follow the captain onto the yes, platform I will. okay yes, I will. all right so you're gonna like break off and jump up here following the captain the captain has climbed up you've climbed back up onto the platform and you're okay. going south towards the train uh okay dr wagner oops yeah, Dr. Wagner. Even though it doesn't, it says Memetam, it's your turn. Uh, I guess I'm going to follow the gang. I'm, you know. All right. That would be nice. I, okay. Tiger <laughs> penises have served a purpose. <laughs> they have. They've served those tiger penises, have served you well, Doctor. I'm just going to hide behind the beef. All right, so you're going to run back there and begin climbing up onto the the platform where the rest of the guys are. Uh, Tam. All right, so these guys come back with their barrels and they begin sloshing. Actually, Pius Whiskey guy is probably going to be over here. He's sloshing it against the wall, the 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 uh, the door or uh, the wall of the building. So he's the wall to, of the building over yeah, on this side. Yeah. Train girl comes up here and says, "Like, where do you want it?" Okay, make sure to pour some of it on top. Like, I don't know, here. Here's my bucket. Use the bucket to get some on top of it. Have it trickle down on the side. Just right. make sure that the tower is off, the battery. At this point, you see Train Girl do something incredibly attractive. <laughs> she lifts the barrel up. Oh, shit. <laughs> of water and puts it on the platform <laughs> with a slam. And then you see her kind of like, ugh, ugh. All right, I'm coming up. And she begins I'm running in love. Over, <laughs> run over here up on the platform. But the barrel is on the platform, and you can dip your bucket in it and just throw it right on top as, as much as you want. Well, I give her the bucket to do that. Okay. I, I drop the bucket and tell her to do that. I head for the train. All right. So you're so you you would stay on the platform because the train entrance is platform height, not ground height. Okay. So, so you would stay on the platform and then you get in the train. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, I'm so on the you're, train. You're in the train. So you get back in the train, and uh, I'm assuming that next round you're going to, to fire it up. You know, it's like turn the ignition yeah. key to like one. Uh, yeah. Got, <laughs> got it. Okay. To see what this, have all the lights go on. Uh, <laughs> perfect. All right. And then I'm going to sound the horn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Isaac is going to move to here. He's Well, no, he's not. He's going to move out here so they can still see him. Uh, he doesn't want to lose them, so here they come. Boom. Boom. They're bump, the bump, bumping into bumping into mushrooms all of a sudden, popping spores. Uh, no one is in a position to see Isaac. I'm worried that you guys are going to leave Isaac here <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> all right, but he does that. Weber Jicks. 
So you are driving south. <laughs> You're muted, dude. Yep, I'm driving straight south, um, and whatever I see, what looks like will be an open enough cargo area. This is where I'm stopping the car. Hey, hey okay. Les. Yep. I promise not to accidentally leave Isaac. Okay. All right, so wherever you drive. It'll, it'll be on purpose if we do. It'll be on purpose. Oh, <laughs> ouch. All right, Weber, you go down to the second car and you get to here, and this is the, the this is where you would load, where you would normally some shit going on in the house, uh, where you would normally load the uh, crates. However, the loading area is usually loaded from the platform, so it's higher up. It's not on the ground oh, okay. level, so you need to get the you need to somehow figure out how to get the things. Now, the good part is that the bed of the truck is more or less even so if you load it from the truck you can sort of like chuck them in but um but yeah it's it's not perfect okay okay but yeah you get there uh okay. fire seems to be going back and in fact other than a, a very sort of ammonia smell the fire seems to have retreated a little bit from the <laughs> north side too uh so i don't know i don't know what's going on over there but something something good all right and then i'll, I'll call out to anybody on the train like hey help me out uh as far as you know there's no one on the train okay uh certainly nobody answers uh actually tam is on the train tam do you hear you you uh hear Weber outside towards the back yelling out, "Hey, could you use some help over here?" Yeah, I heard him. Okay, <laughs> I'm not answering. I am I am busy. <laughs> okay, Captain how many Black. steps you got? How many guys steps you got, Don? What? Did you get your ten thousand? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you in a second here. <laughs> okay. All right, so I call it to these guys. The guys behind you? Neighbor. Pardon? The guys behind you, Doyle and Wagner? Yeah. Okay. Did you see it, Matt? Three, four, five, six. Nine, one, eight, one. Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> You're close. All right. Captain, you getting in the train? No. Okay. No. I call out to these guys. I, okay, I say double time. Let's get down towards the train. Um, and I recommend that we as the infected people get in the back car. Okay. Okay. But Doc, you're with the infected people and you need to check out the medicine so you can figure out how to fix this before we all die and turn into zombies and kill you. Because you're going to be the first one I kill, just to be clear. <laughs> Wait, my mother Teresa? Yes. Mother, yeah. space, space Mother Teresa. Yeah. Space Mother Teresa. <laughs> it's your Hippocratic Oath. Um, yeah. Less. Yep. No, Les, qu was, quietly so they don't hear. Um, once the train gets going, I'm goes. uncoupling the last car. <laughs> Got it. Uh, all right. So, Captain Black, you have to enter the train uh, at the platform. On the platform. You, yeah, you would enter like right about here, but you can move. I mean, the train doors. I mean, you could go to the back of the train. You remember how the train looks, so uh, yeah. you can you can go back there. Okay. Cool. Coffin. But I can see Mehmet Tam in front of me, right? No, he's inside the train. Right, but I'm looking into the train at this point, right? I can see in a window or whatever. Oh yeah, the windows are all busted out in the front. So yeah, you could definitely see Mehmet in there. He's fiddling with some some of the train controls. So I'm like, Mehmet, you gotta get out of the way because we're coming in and we're covered in dust. At which point, Mehmet, you're like, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right. All right. That's Captain Black. Coffin. The captain yells out, follow me, but when we get in the train, we have to go to the back of the train. Because we have to get, we're covered in, in spores. We have to figure out how to get rid of that. Aye, aye, sir. All right, it's your turn, though. Um, I'll go to the back of the train. You know, I, I actually don't want to infect my colleagues. Um, so um, I assume it's cold because I'm naked and wet. Um, <laughs> well, no, it's not. It's, it's comfortable. I mean, it's uh, probably in the 70s. It's the, the weather on this planet is fantastic. All right, so I'm. I'll move. Um, how, where am I now? Am I? So you're the at the edge. No, you're at the edge of the platform. So I don't know that you can get on the train. You could probably get to where the captain is. Okay. But that's probably going to be about as far as you can go. And the captain right. has stopped short of the of the actual train door, which is like right by the 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 controller for the for the charge. 
Okay. Um, do I see that truck with the um medicine crate? Yeah, absolutely. Where? Where? I don't it's right here. It. It's parked next to the train on the other side. Oh, you know what? It was behind the turn order box. Ah, okay, got it. You know what? Fine. Um, I'm gonna um pick up my gun, which is the only thing I have that's not covered in spores and um i'm gonna try to get back to the uh rear of the train all right and i i, I hope i have bathed myself of all or at least most of the spores i hope well you've splooshed a lot of them off and a lot of them are on your clothes which you have shed and i apparently are leaving here yes. um so you basically a naked wet man with a gun correct Got it. Okay. That's just, me. Just, or as I like to call it, Friday night. Um, <laughs> all right. Sounds good. All right. So you're going to run, you're going to uh, uh, not run, but you're going to move down to like about here, I guess. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's keep you away from the fire there. We don't want you to get too toasty, Thank especially you. in, you know, you don't have any protective gear on. Uh, Dr. Wagner. Same. Yes. It's your turn. Are you going to move down the platform? Uh, after hearing what the captain said, get on the train, just head for the back when you get on so we don't infect our train driver. Yeah. I, I just think it's much ado over nothing at this point. All right. Maybe I made it accidentally inhaled some of the... Trust the science. Get back there. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> He's a COVID denier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is the doc. Tam. All right. So you hear the captain yelling out through the, the through the non-existent windshield. You hear the captain yelling, Tam, get away from the door. We're all coming in and we're all covered with Cordy. I'm I'm trying to get as get close to, to the top of this train as I can. <laughs> yeah, you get in there. All right. All right. So you gonna uh so you do a little bit of move and sort of shy away from the main door. Do you uh uh check the the, the charge? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, you know how to drive this train because you drove it here. So yeah, uh, you yeah, you can see that the charge seems to be proceeding at pace. You've only been charging it for about thirty seconds. Thirty seconds, I know. But, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's certainly not full. Uh, your guess is that you need twenty minutes of charge to to get it to the point where you can get it back to the town you hey. came from. But well, uh, can I assist? Because part of the reason I came up here is because I have a nice bonus in electrical. No, go away. There's nothing you can do to make it charge faster. <laughs> I can pee on it. That will not make it charge faster. <laughs> Work for the fire. <laughs> don't don't uh, don't sell him short. He did he uh, he did some extraordinary things with tiger penises. If if Mister Electrician is actually stating that peeing on the electronics will help, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder <laughs> I wonder where he got his degree from. <laughs> same, same place he got his medical degree. Dubai. <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, Tam, you are in there. You can see that it's charging, but it's. I mean, you still got a ways to go. Um, all right, so he's going to sort of begin sort of popping through here, whereas the zombies are sort of like fungus uh, and they are chasing him. So he's leading them. Um, so here's uh, who can see this? No one. No one can see this happening. See except, except for maybe pious whiskey guy and, and train girl, but they're busy. No one sees the fact that there are now three zombies headed your way along with Isaac. How's Isaac still doing way down there? He was throwing off pursuit so you could drive the truck. I thought he got in the car with us. Oh, sorry. No, Isaac. that was Pius Whiskey Guy. <laughs> Isaac was leading the zombies away so they didn't chase you up the alley. And oh, yeah. Where's prepared. Isaac? <laughs> where's where's Apone, man? Where's Apone? All right. He's waiting. Game over, there. man. Uh, he's waiting. There. Your turn, Weber. All right. Are we loading a sucker or what? Uh, I'm trying to drag these things up, up the thing. Give me a, a winch, yeah, give a winch me, or something else. Or... You don't see a winch or anything like that. It's basically just a door. Are you going to try and muscle the crate onto the onto the yeah. plat, onto the thing? Get the get plat. disease folk to help you. Um, let's see. What do I need? Strength, which is basically terrible. everything. Strength. Oh, yeah. Give me strength. So it's a six. So is that a minus one or minus two? Uh, that's minus two. Oh. Oh, look and, at that. Uh, you scooched it around a little bit, and you're just like, man, I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know that I can lift this. Uh, you didn't, to drive you out didn't here. move it. I'm like, get your ass over here and help me unload this crate. <laughs> so you're you're yelling into the train. Get yeah. your asses over here! All right, everybody over there by the door can hear you. Hear Tam down the way yelling, "I need help moving these crates." Weber. All right. I'm sorry, Weber. Yeah. Weber. Yeah. All right. The fire is is receding due to the barrels, but they're running out. They've only got about another barrel, a half barrel's worth of thing, and that's going to be over. The train girl is up here, and she is splooshing the top of the battery uh, with water, and she's pretty much put out. Uh, did I freeze? Can you guys hear me? No, I can hear it. We can okay. Because yeah. uh, I'm looking at my picture, and it, I'm just stuck there. Uh, all right, so uh, Train Girls is basically got the fire out on top of the canister, so that's good. Um, you know, she's now bucket bucketing water into the into the fire itself to sort of slot it back away from the canister so it doesn't hurt. Um, as is Pious Whiskey Guy, he's put, putting that down as well. Pious Whiskey Guy doesn't know that there are zombies behind, coming up behind him, so that's an interesting turn of events. Round 23, Captain Black, what do you do? I heard him call for help. You did. So I am going to head that way. Okay. Um, I can, you said I can get in here? Yeah, you get in. Yeah, you get in right about there. And basically you can run through the, through the train car. Four, five, six, seven. Can I? You can get there, yeah. Here? Yeah. I can't do anything else because I just got, so I can't lift one up. Right, but whoever you see the captain show up, um, you know, sort of at the door, he's like, I'll help you. Just, you know, <laughs> come and give us a big hug first, though. <laughs> stay on that side of the crate. I'll stay on this side. <laughs> okay. Uh, coffin. Yes, sir. All right. Um... Saw the captain run into the train, and you could hear him sort of like, you know, his, his footfalls down, going down the train. Uh, he seems to be responding to what you heard was Weber yelling out, I need some help down here. Come on, I can't move these crates by myself. I'm just I will follow. All right, so you're going to go in there? I'm going to follow the captain, yeah. All right, so you will pretty much get right to, next to where the captain is. Okay. Uh, Weber, I'm going to go ahead and put you in there if that's okay. Please, please. Weber is your, whoops, how'd that go down? What the flip? I just erased you. Uh, go ahead and put yourself right next to, right next to the captain inside that blue box. All right, Weber. As you are looking at the captain, the captain is sort of jumping. You're getting ready to jump down into the bed of the truck and help you move things. At that moment, a naked, soaking wet, armed <laughs> coffin Doyle appears appears in the appears in the doorway, and but that's not. I mean, the thing that you notice most of all is his pupils seem to be like this big. As you look at his eyes. <laughs> there he made it. Good job, John. Hey, orgy's not till next Friday, uh, Doyle. <laughs> Put that away and then get to work. All right, that's Doyle. All right, Dr. Wagner, what about you? What are you going to do? This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. <laughs> did you finish, Don? He did. He got, he's at yeah. 10,009. Right, I wanted to do like a, like a final countdown for you in the last 500 or something. Okay, good job. It's the final it's time for a, it's time to reward yourself with a sleeve of Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Double stuff. Yep. There you go. All right, Doctor Wagner. Uh, you, I'm not you, sure what I can do at this point. Well, um, I mean, so probably, I mean, the rest of the guys have gotten on the train and they're going to help. They're going. To, it sounds like they're going to help Jix move the crates onto the train. Uh, you know that you're going to need that medicine. So probably, I mean, I don't know, you could, you could go in and start, well, you also know that you're probably going to have to remove uh, Doyle's arm. So I don't know, start setting up uh, a tree, you know, like an area where you can work on these guys <clears> because they're, there's a, I mean, everybody seems to be covered in spores. They're probably infected. You got to get them the medicine pretty quickly. It seems kind I'll of have the medicine on board in a second. What did you say, uh, uh, Andrew? It looks flamey. It does look flamey. The buildings, the, the depot's in flames. You do see a couple of people that were on the train, the, the people from Tufik. They've got barrels of water, and they're bucketing water onto the thing. They seem to have been kept the, kept the fire from getting, you know, taking over the entire platform. All right, I'll, I'll get on the train, but I'm telling you, 
Tiger penis cooked more than medium rare is not good. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine not. You don't ask for tiger penis and then say, well done, please. Um, all right. So you get on the train. I'm going to assume that you go back to the back of the car uh, where everybody else is sort of thing. Yes. Despite my hypocritical oath, I'm going <laughs> to jump on there and try to help. All right. Sounds good. Tam. Okay. It's got ways to go before you're charged up enough to, to leave this place, but it does seem to be working and the fire so, seems to be contained. So the last thing I did was checked and, and confirmed that it is charging. It is charging. So it looks like I'm going to come back rate. on the platform to talk to train girl okay. and pious whiskey guy. Okay. What do you say to him? To let them know that, you know, real quick survey, how well they're doing. Great job. They seem to have um, got it back, but I mean, they're running out of water again. Right. Well, we're, it's going to be another, it's going to be 19 minutes minimum for us to get before we can leave because it needs to charge. So we need to find more sources of water. Um, I have diuretics in my bag. That'll that's do it. not going to help. <laughs> facing the facing, facing pious whiskey guy, is there a chance I can spot Isaac? Uh, give me an intelligence roll. I think he's it, still is the only, it is the only movement in town coming this way. <laughs> yeah, he, he was also shouting at the shouting at the top of his lung. lung yeah, he's making a, he's making a fair amount of noise. So you don't need a really high intelligence check to. Uh, yeah, you can see him, and you can <clears throat> see you can also see that there are at least three zombies following him. Okay, he's, he's yelling and screaming, singing, and that kind of stuff to make sure he has their attention. But they're coming this way. Um, I yell back behind me, Captain, we've got three more zombies in town coming this way. If you can spare anything. Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chain of command. I'm just holding the captain first. He can direct <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay. uh, like if I, if I need to, I can hand my body pistol to, uh, Doyle. If he's going to be more useful capping uh, zombies, he's, he's on a hot streak today. Well, he's got, he's got a pistol. Yeah, if he's still got a couple rounds, then I think he's fine. I mean, literally, it's his only possession at this point. <laughs> naked and a gun. Ooh, naked, naked gun. gun. Naked gun. <laughs> Weber, you're up. You've All got right, some well, help, but they're covered in, in cordyceps fungus. You don't know what's going on there. Doc, you better start injecting this as soon as we get these uh, crates up here. All right. Um, I, I, I have my little... Uh, my little face mask still on that we you know we talked about got some ppd on yeah so i'm doing the best i can to keep their their personal funk off me and uh pulling these uh crates up like how do we need to do it like, double string check or what how do we get these on Four yeah i think so though. depending on who's going to help you uh you need each would each of you would roll a strength check all right what role do we need what's the number Nine. eight or better i've got a uh my my arm gives me plus seven. It's a cybernetic arm with a strength of fifteen. Ooh, okay, so that's good. I can so, just lift them up. Yeah, so you will lift. So we'll still roll because you know Weber's not that strong. So together you have to get sixteen. All right, I got five for you. Okay, well I get two d six. Two d six, yeah. Plus seven, apparently. Plus seven. There it is. Oh yeah. So with between between uh, Weber's sort of like. I've got my end. And then uh, Captain Black's just like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys my get sci my sciatica. <laughs> my sciatica. I've got to pull a muscle. You've got, uh, <laughs> you've got one crate on the train. And I look at Coffin. I say, dude, don't worry. I know a guy. I can get you one of these. <laughs> oh no, we're headed back to that one place. Uh, all right. So that's Weber. And that will, uh, Captain Black, that will be your round as well. Uh, okay. when we get to you so that's that's you guys takes you that whole thing so we are what about uh, the other two guys are they going to try to pick up the air crater now uh okay. well on their turn yeah i mean when okay. uh when doyle Do doyle and uh and i guess um the doctor could probably try and lift a crate yeah uh all right so the fire is doesn't go anywhere it doesn't retreat anywhere because you guys have run out of water so um both train girl and tam and Pies whiskey guy are now looking around for new new barrels. So you can see uh, a couple of barrels, and I'm just going to mark them here. So this is this is an unused barrel. 
Is this a barrel here? Sorry. That yeah, but that one's already been used. Here's an unused barrel. Here's an unused barrel. How much longer do we have to charge this sucker? Here's 20, 20 minutes. minutes. How many minutes has it been? 80? None. Half of one. <laughs> There's an unused barrel. Uh, I think that might be all the unused barrels that you can see. Can't we just rip this back? I'm thinking one at the very bottom. Can't we just strap? Oh, there's one down at the very bottom. Can't we strap this one to the the top of the the battery at the top of the train and just have portable power? There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, All right. So, where do you want them to go first to get barrels? They they need cover. Uh, This one for sure. Uh, Which one? Uh, The very bottom. Okay. So, train girls. And then this one. Trangle jumps off of there. Uh, and what Pius Whiskey guy is going to run that way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he is not going to run over the pile of bodies because he's not an idiot. So he comes running <laughs> up here and, well, now how's he going to get over there? So he's going to he's gonna actually sort of take his time and sort of step through. Oh, man. Come around back. We got a problem. Yeah. No, come around the back of the train. The, yeah, you can come through the train. Come through the train. That's true. He can do that. So he's going to do that and go into the train uh, and he's going to go uh, that way. Oh, there's another door on the other side, I bet. So he can pop out here. So he'll get to here, but that's as far as he's going to get. How, okay. heavy is, how heavy is this battery, Les? Can we just pick it up and strap it to no, the it's, <laughs> it's big. It's like it's like the size of a um, like a Volkswagen. It's big. And it's, we got, and it's, and it's we got a bunch of these, uh, these uh, not tieflings, uh, uh, turf land. Yeah, the problem is if you, if you dislodge it, you're likely to, I mean, Cam would say if you dislodge it from the thing, you're probably going to break it. It is a it is a charging unit. It itself is not a battery. It is connected to electronics. All right. All that right. when you pull it off, it's not going to do work anymore. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So he jumps when out you, of there. When you plug back. your Tesla into your charging unit, the charging unit is connected to the electrical system. So. Hello, Tom. Hey, there he is. What's up, Tom? Mr. Verm himself, congratulations. congratulations other Tom. Tom. No, other Tom. Oh, other Tom? Tom, okay. All right. All right. This so one's useless. No, no. <laughs> he's doing that Why? way. All right. <laughs> Round 24, right. Captain Black. Well, I, this is my turn in help hoisting up the battery. All right. Who's going to help you? Uh, is Weber, are you going to help him? Are you going to sacrifice your turn to help him? Yep. All right. He's crate number two. Who does number two work for? Am I rolling? <laughs> yeah, both of you. I need strength rolls. Oh, still have to roll. Okay. Still have to roll. Oh, <laughs> nineteen, man, and he did another seventeen. And uh, again, Weber is sort of like, oh, it's so heavy. I don't know. <laughs> my, my little legs are kicking on the backside. <laughs> yeah, he was actually causing me to be do worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you get so you guys managed to muscle both of the crates of medicine on the thing. Dr. Wagner, uh, you're looking for the latches to try and open them up. Uh, open up those crates. You should be able to get it up uh, open next round. Uh, coffin. Anybody, sorry, one second. Does anybody has anybody informed those of us on the train that there are three zombies in the street? Yes. I okay. yelled back to the captain. Yeah, my, we're aware. My, but we had to get the medicine first. So my intention is to jump in the car and uh, and go help out. No, but in the truck. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, you can't until next round. Nineteen more minutes. Yeah, not, I yeah. know. But we're here nineteen more minutes. I might as well uh, make the most of it. Anybody want to ride shotgun like with a joust out the window, a jousting uh, pull out the window? <laughs> Man, that sounds like a job for naked coffin. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I, I don't think you want us getting on the truck with you. Right. Though. Anybody got some Wagner we can put, we can strap on here? <laughs> oh, I think we can find some Wagner <laughs> right there. <laughs> I love the smell of burning cordy in the morning. All right, so uh, Coffin, it's your turn. Uh, you hear Weber Jicks say, next round, I'm going to jump in the truck and go help out with the remaining zombies that we just learned about. You, high as you might be, have been doing very well from a shooting standpoint, and you still have six bullets, right. it, 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 unless somebody wants to give you more bullets. If there's shooting to be done, I'm going to hop in the truck, too, and I'm going to get ready to um shoot um and i realize i'm totally naked but you know what so what it's and what be the hey am i gun. am i i forgot am i wearing my lando calrissian the half cape i, I, I think so yeah 
All right, if it'll fit around uh, Doyle's waist, I'll give it to him to give him a little, uh, so, uh, a little modesty. A half cape only like covers his nipples. Everything else is out. Uh, he he wear it a little lower, you know. He'd oh, you're gonna wrap it around, around like a towel. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Sure. Sure. All right. So he strips off his cape and says, "Here, you put this on. One. Cover this cover your gift. nether regions." Yeah. In the meantime, shame. Uh, then so Coffin jumps in the bed of the truck with yep. a with a cape wrapped around his genitals. Uh, and a gun in his hands, and I'm ready to go! I'm going to crouch down in the bed of the truck and uh, try to keep my balance when it lunges forward. All right, sounds good. We're going to just go ahead and put the coughster in there. Thank you. We're just going to put him right there in the truck. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, uh, Dr. Wagner, you're a little jealous about the half cape, but uh, you're getting over it. It's a pretty good-looking cape. Uh, that's a gift now, uh, Doyle. I don't want that one back. You, you owe me. <laughs> that's a gift. That just sets a keeper. Uh, you're, it's been rubbed up against your space taint. I don't. I don't need this <laughs> bag. I'm just. I'm just ready to start seeing patients. Okay, so you are. Um, give me. Give me a quick med check. Okay. Doyle first. Let's see. Here we go. 16. All right. So yeah, you, you waste no time getting those, getting one of those crates open. And as it pops open, it's sort of like, you know, uh, opens up and you can see, uh, what looked to be box after box of files of a clear liquid with, with, you know, um, writing on it that talks exactly what it is. Um, this is, this is a anti-cordyceps, antifungal, uh, very strong antifungal antibiotic, um, you know, thing. Uh, there's uh, also delivery devices, both uh, aerosol and uh, injectors. Preparation C. I get the aerosol stuff. All right, and load load a bottle. Oh, more than one. Okay, so you're so you're gonna just spray it in people's faces. Yep. Hit, hit yourself with it first and foremost. Oh yeah, I do my underarms, <laughs> oh, <my> crotch. <laughs> it's like it's like a, it's like it's like a can of uh, you know can of air it extra dry uh it's going to take you your round it's going to take you the round to to uh break open the case grab a bottle find the aerosol injector load the thing pop and, and you know get, get prepare the injector to work but i you'll think be able you to underestimate dr wagner but you, but you really want to you know treat the uninfected people right away well the worst affected <laughs> person is in the trunk of no, the car the, the unaffected Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Because it doesn't yeah. it doesn't help affected people. It only helps unaffected people. Well, if you can catch it early enough, it will it will kill the okay. Cordyceps. It's once once the once the spores once it gets into the organs get into gets into the organs and in the brain. Then I'm it's, trying to get us all killed, Don. For God's sake, <laughs> he wants to be. He wants to be. He's he's got it. He's got his eye on the captain seat. Um, all right. S speaking of uh, upwardly mobile uh, space pilots, Memetan, you are up. Did he just take off? He just took off, didn't he? Yeah. He's getting, he's getting I'll go back. Yeah. Okay. Where are you? You're outside right. again. Well, That's right, I went because... out here to tell those guys. Yep. And then I saw them running here. Um, yep. <clears throat> let's see. You've got a gun. I, I have a gun and some bullets. Um. I'm going to make it all the way to here and hide behind this barrel. Uh, or did he carry the barrel? He carried the he barrel. He carried right, that he? barrel, yeah. So I'm going to mark the barrels which have been used. Right. Okay. I am just uh, crouched down by this, uh, you know, the the walkway, the thing. The walkway. Okay. All right. So do you got And your... I'm watching Isaac come, and when he gets close enough with these bad guys, I'll start shooting. Okay. Sounds good. So are you like readying an action sort of thing? I'm readying an action, yeah. All right. So Isaac, and it's their turn. So Isaac is going to, he's full on go, moving. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's, good, good. you see him like ripping through here. He's headed for the platform. These guys come up to about here. They're they're losing ground on him because they're not as fast as Isaac. Um, but they're very clearly cordyceps zombies. I mean, you can see them very clearly. Do you want to take that action now? I will take that action now. All right. I'm firing at this one here. Gotcha. Okay. Go 
I have? Suspense is killing me. I'm looking at what my pistol action, what my pistol ability is here. Yeah. La pistolas, las bombas, las rifles. Here it comes. I'm feeling it. <laughs> big money, big money, no whammies. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, snake eyes. There you go. So yeah, uh, direct hit. <clears throat> and that's a body right. pistol. So three d six. Nine points of damage. Not quite enough to put it down, but you did. Uh, you definitely slowed it down. Uh, I didn't. I mean, you hit it amidships, so you could see. Uh, you know some fungus and spores come pouring out of the hole. Um, but it's still sort of staggering after, uh, after hey, Isaac. I am, I am readying. So I've moved, I've, I, I, I shot and everything. I'm ready to book away from them because they're going to be really close to me next turn. Well, they're still chasing Isaac, but yeah, they will be pretty close. So you're okay. ready to run. Okay. So that's uh, yeah. All right, cool. Weber Jicks. All right. Hang on there, Doyle. Mm -hmm. So you jump in the car, yep. drive around the south end of the train. Yep, pop out over here. And pop out over there. All right. So hold on. I'm going to, it's going to take me a second to get you squared around. Right you do, you peel out, go around the train, bump, bump, bump. You get a little bumped around uh, in the back there, coffin, and you are now headed this way. Just like Saigon, right? Do it on him. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> Just like Detroit in the winter. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. The fire is expanding a little bit because of lack of water. Flames are starting to lick at the charge station again, and we go into round 25, and it's Captain Black. Both of the crates are on there. You can see uh, uh, that um, the doctor is loading the um, loading the medicine into uh, a um, an injector, an aerosol injector. Uh, machine, what do you do? You could, you, if you look to the north into the main engine room, you can see that neither Tam, nobody's in there. And I heard, did I hear the gunshots up to the north? The, uh, give me intelligence. Yeah, you may have. Ooh, and it would have been just a single shot. Yeah, intelligence is like perception. It's the best we can do here. Yeah, you heard him. You heard a single gunshot All outside. Right. Tell Doc I'm going to be right back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I go to there. All right. And I Sounds assume good. I can see the zombies. Uh, Yeah, they're not hiding or anything. You could easily see them. Okay. All right. You so I'm getting it. ready to be in position to shoot. Okay, so you're just going to be in position, or you're going to shoot? I can't shoot this turn. I took a ah, Okay, okay, okay. Uh, coffin, you're in the truck bed. I don't think you can see any zombies yet. But you do see the captain come running out of the train on the platform, and he's got his laser out, and he is looking east down the little street. East, okay, I see. All right. Well, I'm going to hang on and let Weber Jicks drive. And as soon as I see a zombie, I'm going to um, actually, I'm going to wait for him to stop the car and then I will take aim. Okay. So you are going to wait. So you're going to basically hold until Weber gets around the thing and then fire. So I'm going to move you down the initiative roll uh, okay. because you're sort of reserving in your actions, kind of. Yes, please. All right, Dr. Wagner, you are you the aerosol injector is ready. Everyone has left. <laughs> what are you people you crazy? Be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Gotta kill zombies. I'm not trying to kill them. They're trying to commit suicide. <laughs> well, how did I end up on the train tracks? You're inside. That's just the you're inside the, the blue squares represent the train. You're inside the train. Okay. I, I don't think my imagination is quite that good yet. <laughs> you want to uh, give yourself an injection? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I already I thought I already did that. Did the underarms, the crotch. 
No, you had to get it prepped last time. You had to do it. Like, yeah, you did. You had to do it last. You were prepping the injector last time, so you can do that now, though. Yeah, I've got to, you know, physician heal thyself or something. Absolutely. Got it. Okay, so that is what you do. Uh, Mehmet Tam, where the hell are you? Oh, you're there. Uh, it's your turn. The uh, uh, the guy. You can delay if you want. Wait for the creatures. I am move. going to delay. Okay. Do you want to delay until after the creatures move? Um, or before. So what? Let me. F- yeah, I'm going to delay till after they move. Uh, or do you want to delay until after the truck that's roaring up behind you <laughs> shows up? <laughs> no, I'm. Um, they move before the truck, don't they? Uh, yes, they do. Yeah, once they move, I'm gonna fire and then run in front of the away. truck. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna stay close to this railing here. I want to stay close to this building. So. Okay. Isaac is running for the platform. Right. I'm shooting this one again. Oh. Okay. Shooting the same one again. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. oh, that's a miss. All right. And then I run to here. Okay. All right. Sounds good. You're running. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, you're running uh, uh, south. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. Uh, all right. Weber, truck. Where do you want that truck to land? You see Isaac in the street. You see right. the, and you see the zombies at this point following. They're following Isaac. Can I get it right to where Isaac is? Make sure he has clearance. And then I'm going to get between him and the between Isaac and the zombies. Sure. So actually, actually, you know, if Isaac has a clear shot, I'm going to pull up right here so we can get, give him a Doyle fusillade right here. From the give him all guns, Doyle. All right, so you're going to pull up and, like, what, like, yeah. throw it and throw it like this? We're going to do, like, a road warrior enfilade, you know, as they come by, you know, get them all in a row. Yep. Oy. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hold on a second. Tell me. All right, I'm going to move you guys to, like, a right, right about there. <laughs> Maybe a little bit forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're not we're running over Mehmet. But. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah All Mehmet, right. That, you see them sort of, the, the truck sort of squeals by you, and, and, you know, as it throws it into a skid, there's dust flying everywhere. Isaac's running in front of it. Coffin, you have a clear shot. I'm gonna, okay, Coffin roll stands up naked and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I guess I'll target that one first. Uh, sorry, that one first. Uh, yeah, take the injured one. The one that's the one that's blue, or the green one that's injured. Right here, green guy. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go. Um, there we go, and uh, ten. Ten's a hit. And I do uh, fourteen. Boom! She wow. down. She goes. All right, good. All right, and if I have time, I'm gonna go for that. Uh, who's closer? You know what? I'll go for this guy, blue guy. Okay. Here we go. Two uh, d six plus three. I roll a. 10. 10's a hit. And I roll, uh, got some lag here, rolling the dice at eight. Eight points. All right. Bullets are flying. Uh, he's still up, uh, but uh, you did hit him, and that was two shots. So you, did I take your shots away? I don't think I did. No. Uh, when, when it's my, you took when, mine away. Okay. T- well, I need to get out of the car to fire, or can I roll down a window and, and race <laughs> against the car? You can, roll, you can roll down the window. Do I have time this turn or did I drive? No, you were driving this turn. Okay. But you can you can do it next turn if you want. All anyway, right. Ra- are. <laughs> round 26. <laughs> this feels like Captain Black's round. Captain Black. <laughs> All right. What am I looking at here? Uh, uh, you see. Captain so, Black will get you high tonight. So you see uh, uh, Isaac is running towards you. Uh, these zombies, one went down under shots. Coffin is standing up in the in the bed of the truck, naked. Wet, armed. <laughs> he's fire. He's blasting away. Uh, this, Isaac is running for the for the platform. He's looking to look to try and get on the train. The the, um, the truck is sort of parked sideways, and you can see Mehmet is sort of running south away from the action. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see there's two live zombies. It's that one and that one, right? Uh, correct. 
Why do you always right. emphasize on running away? <laughs> I'm not Shooting emphasizing. I'm just, I'm just, it's, this is just the news, man. <laughs> You're going to shoot the blue one or the green one? Blue one. You've got. Ah! <laughs> Neither. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you are, man. You're going to have to, you, you may lose a point of laser experience. On the <laughs> I uh, might need to talk to Chuck about how to get <laughs> how do you How do you fix this? Uh, all right. So that's a, like, that's it for your shot. shot. Since I'm not moving. Okay. There, there you go. go. There's a hit. And how much does the laser do? 3d6 plus 3. All right, 15 points of damage. I got to admit, that was a crack shot because, boom, he goes down. One zombie left. It's homing in on the... Now, you, you you can't tell if it's moving towards Isaac still or if it's heading now for the truck because uh, the truck is making such a, a big production or, or what, but he's definitely sort of ambling in a southwesterly direction. Dr. Wagner, you uh, have injected yourself uh, a couple of times with the anti-cordyceps virus. There are still no other patients in the train. But you do hear gunfire outside. <laughs> um, have you moved uh, Train Girl and uh, Pius Whiskey Guy lately? Uh, they're coming up Say on no. your turn. I, no, I did. So Train Girl's got a barrel. She's headed uh, to the to the thing. Where is, okay. where is Pius? Oh, Pius Whiskey Guy is at his barrel, so he's going to move it, start moving it towards you this round. So he's at okay. his barrel. So what would... I guess I'm trying to figure out what would be most efficacious. I can't tell based on these sketchings where I should... Well, you do know that... Um, the medicine is going to essentially be prophylaxis for, for anybody who hasn't been exposed. So you've got several people, Mehmet, um, the train, train girl, girl Pius, Pius Whiskey, Whiskey guy, guy, Isaac. Uh, uh, Isaac's been exposed. Weber hasn't oh. been exposed, though. So uh, all How do I get those, to them? Um, well, they're outside. Well, I can't tell. I, I guess I'm confused because I'm in this... Uh, oh, aqua right. Gotcha. I got to show you where the door is. Hold on a second. I will show you. Are you going to show me the door? Thank you. I'm going to show you the door. I'll see I've you had all it, later. Had it with you. Uh, <laughs> all right. We're going to make the door orange. This is the doorway on the train right here. You see the orange square above Where's here? This Hollywood squares. Yeah. Up towards the engine. Up towards the engine. In the, in. Just put me where I can be the most efficacious and. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just want to come out squirting. All right. So you end up at the on the platform right behind Captain Black. And if you want to give him a quick uh, a quick squirt. I sure do. All right, Captain Black, you get squirted on. Oh no. You love it. Oh, uh, hey, is, is he peeing again or is he actually playing medicine this time? <laughs> you just don't know until the next round. <laughs> don't know. Uh, all right, zombies. There's only a few left. So Isaac is going to move first. One, two, around the truck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he comes on the platform and is running towards the door. Hi, guys. I'm Isaac. You may remember me from earlier today on the train. Um, the zombie, I think, uh, you know, as spectacles go, Isaac running is not nearly as interesting visually <laughs> as Coffin Doyle naked and firing a gun. <laughs> in the thing. So that's where the zombie's going to go. One, two, three, four, five. So it is moving towards you, Coffin. You still got it, Doyle. You still bring all the zombies <laughs> still... in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Tam, you are, uh, you are up. Okay, so Train Girl will get here with the barrel of water so you guys so captain black you and wagner see train girl uh up to the thing and she's looking like she's going to try and lift a whole barrel of water onto the platform which you suspect she may be able to do she's i've a, seen her do it before she's a uh <laughs> she's a healthy two a healthy two fit girl uh pious whiskey guy where, how, what is she's, he gonna do with this barrel? he's gonna get this barrel gal, up here she's a sturdy gal he's gonna do it here and he is gonna dump uh, actually you know what he's gonna move the barrel 
down here. So he's on the platform back there with a barrel that he's sort of like wheeling across there. He's going to dump that down over here. So when he gets close, uh, Mehmet, what are you, what are you personally doing? I've gotten to here. So you're running over there. You're going to help train girl. I'm maybe. gonna watch Train Girl. <laughs> just watch us, like, hey, he doesn't uh, need help. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe <laughs> before you, maybe, out. maybe before you lift that barrel, maybe take off your top, something like that. Um, <laughs> My top's already off. <laughs> that's true. You're topless. Uh, Weber, you are in the truck. You roll down the window and blast. Yep. I'm gonna blast us. So. All right. Window goes down. There's no one close to this one, right? If he pops. Uh, yeah, nobody in the way. All right. How many shots can they get off? Just one or two. Ah, rolling down the windows of free action. You could uh, you could get two. All right. So let me just remind myself what my body pistol is. I think it's body pistol two. Body pistol. Body pistol is three d six damage. Yeah, but I have two. Yeah, two uh, two in it. So. Two shots. Yeah, well, he has two bullets left. No, no, or no. He I has have, two. I have twelve bullets. I'm saying. I have oh well, no. You have two bullets left in this magazine, so you can shoot those two. But then you got to eject the mag and okay. and and reload because it's a ten, reload. Yeah, it's but a I, ten bullet I, mag. I'm just saying I have two, a plus two on my, my body. Oh, right, right. Okay. So, okay. Uh, 2d6 First, plus two. All right, here we go. First one. Boom. Miss. Second one. Oh. Also miss. Ouch. Another two and one. That's crazy. Right. So both of those I'm, bullets. So you I'm drop. Rolling up the window. I'm rolling up the window. <laughs> <laughs> you roll up the window. All right. There's the way to go. All right. So coffin. Bullets are flying out of the truck. <laughs> But they're flying they're everywhere. Flying. You don't you don't think he even hit it. Yeah, but now, they're not aiming at anything. <laughs> he seemed to be just flying around. Okay. Um, if it's my turn to shoot, I have four rounds left. I'm yep. gonna um is that a zombie there? Yep. Yes. I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, and a ten. That's a hit. Yes, sir. And I do five. Five points of damage? That's nothing. <laughs> Barely winged it. All right. Again. Okay. Here we go. And 13. 13 is a hit. And I do 12. There 12 we go. points of damage. All right. That's pretty good. You've wounded it significantly, but it is still on its feet. Ah, damn. All right. Round 27. Feels feels oh. like a critical round here. I know everybody's like, this has been like giving birth to a, <laughs> to a, a, to a space taint. Uh, Captain Black. Two shots. Hit. Oh, maybe I only need one shot. Maybe. 14. Yeah, and that'll eight, do it. It had eight hit points left. It goes down. And gentlemen, I hate to even admit this. That was the last zombie in town. Wow. Woo-hoo. Now we can party. Now you can no, party. Now we can charge the train. <laughs> All, All right. right. We keep fall this, keep out this fire of fire at bay. <laughs> All right, we fall out of initiative at this point. The I'll, uh, I'll pick up the uh, the water carriers and pick them up in the truck so we can get the water a little faster. All right, so you go and you take the truck and you go get water uh, and uh, and bring those barrels back. Oh, and Cough- also before I do anything, I drop I drop Doyle at the train to get ejected four times. Okay. So, uh, All right, so Doctor Wagner. You uh you get everybody up there. You give shots to everybody. Um, your first shot, stop shot, is to give shot, shot, to shot. give to give the shots to people who have obviously, or at least to your eyes, have not been infected. That's going to be prophylactic. They are they are uh, immune now from 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 the cordyceps. So they uh, once you do that, uh, and it gets gives it a couple of minutes for it to <clears> sort of get through their bloodstream. They can they can move freely through the bodies and they can uh, do that. The rest of them are going to take longer. You're pretty sure that Captain Black and um, and some of the two figures and Isaac who was uh, who, who caught it and uh, yourself. You're pretty sure that you caught it in time you're not you're pretty sure you did not catch it in time uh well at least for it, that it's in his bloodstream uh for um for coffin doyle your thought is that you're gonna have to amputate and you're gonna have to do it pretty quick give me are you gonna uh, so you you bring him in he's pretty he's pretty drugged up you give him another shot of drug say bite on this <laughs> Wait, here's, a, here's a, a tiger penis. Whiskey. Bite on this. <laughs> bite, on <a> tiger <laughs> bite on this frozen tiger penis. Uh, it, 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 and Irish whiskey. You you uh, um you prepare, whiskey guys you, got some. 
you prepare the site very quickly for uh, uh, trauma and blood loss. Whiskey. Uh, give him some. Give him some. Give him some drugs. <laughs> oh and, yeah, he gets some Irish whiskey. And <laughs> then you saw off the arm. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, doesn't Captain Black laser? Could he uh, somehow utilize it to cauterize? He could. It'll do damage. Uh, wow. it's, it's a combat laser. <laughs> However, if you say use instead of utilize. It'll work. If, if if Doc asks me, I'll use it. But if Doc, I mean, so it, 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 so uh, Doctor Wagner, you know that using that laser will cauterize the wound sufficiently that blood loss will not be a problem. However, the laser itself will do normal laser damage to coffin, which may be problematic. He's he's got a bite mark, so he's not very injured. But those lasers do three D six plus three. But at the same time, you know that that Dan has been rolling absolute garbage tonight. So <laughs> the likelihood of him killing him is probably low. Um, of course, it'll be you know three what? sixes. You know, when you I, I appreciate yeah. your laser efforts, but um, despite all my foibles and weaknesses, I'm a pretty damn good doctor. So I, I think I've got this. All no, right. We can just we can just bring his uh, shoulder up on the on the burning train platform and just cauterize. Do whatever him. you want. Cauterize I mean, him on the on the battery. You know, it's nice and heated up. Super heated. I mean, you can't show a whole lot of dignity or respect for a guy who's got a tiger penis jammed in his mouth. <laughs> That's true. Uh, all right. For a let's... guy that runs around with a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a match yeah, made in heaven. It's a fiasco, no matter how you look at it. All right, uh, uh, Doctor Wagner. I am going to need you to do a medical check on the medical roll. 13. So it's a little bit up and down, but you do manage the combination of drugs, preparation, and swiftness of removing the arm. You successfully remove Coffin Doyle's left arm, upper bicep, uh, stop the bleeding, get it bandaged, and he passes out. He's like gone. Uh, so uh, he, he's asleep. So I slap him with his own arm and go, get up, get up. <laughs> it's like, it's like, wave at him like a, a Pennywise style with his own arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys managed to, by uh, capturing the rest of the buckets of the barrels of water, you guys managed to keep the depot fire contained uh, long enough for the train to charge sufficiently for 20 minutes. Uh, at which point uh, you hear Tam say, let's go! And everybody piles into, anybody who's outside piles into the train. Just, uh, just out of curiosity, I don't know what Isaac thinks about this, but I think we should burn this whole damn town to the ground before we go. I mean, there's cordyce big, big cordyceps that could infect somebody else as they come along. Well, now that you've got the medicine, you can give it to the town, to, to people on the planet and they'll sure. be, they'll be, um, you know, they'll be immune, right. immunized uh, from the thing. Don't so worry that, about random PC, NPCs then that might wander in after we leave. Well, I mean, there was a couple of dozen cordyceps zombies in this town, plus the dogs. So and you know that on Tufik, the towns are not very big. So your guess is that pretty much the entirety of the town was infected and became zombies and that's what attacked you so um the likelihood of it wandering about any further than this is probably low you guys created a fairly large what's the word i'm looking for diversion for the zombies to follow uh you know a giant burning building they certainly would have come to that and, you, and you've killed all of them you actually hang around for another 15 20 minutes while the train is charging you guys are standing out there with guns um no, nothing comes out of the woodwork so um you guys think that you've got everybody um you get the train you get the things loaded you turn the train around and tam is uh tam is driving it and he's like i think we got enough charge and you guys head get headed back down south to the town uh where you met those guys with the medicine lots of vaccine yep you've got it and uh you get back there and uh, real quick we've only got a couple of minutes left you get back to town and uh you um are immediately met at the train station by a series of trucks and it looks like there's a bunch wagner you could you recognize these guys as being 
probably medical professional. <laughs> they immediately jump in, they begin taking the stuff, and you can see that it's just deploying in all directions. Um, somebody, a representative from the which you from the council of elders comes over to you. You've seen him before back in the city, uh, but he seems to be here coordinating the effort to distribute the medicine. And uh, you know, he's got there's probably 50 guys. That and, and and probably half as many trucks that are going in different directions with you know piles of this medicine to distribute it, and they're like, look, the council of elders would like to talk to you, uh, you know, before before you leave. Uh, he'll, they'll just say, look, the interdiction has been taken off of your ship. But after we bathe. Yeah, but after you, after you, yeah, uh, and uh, perhaps someone would like a robe. <laughs> no, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Naked man's fine. <laughs> um, and basically, they they um, you come up and you find yourself in front of the the oh, high elders yep. uh, again, uh, and they're like, "Look, we owe you a debt of thanks. Uh, um, you know, you were able to do this, and and you succeeded in getting back the medicine that you said you would. Um, and we, as a council, are appreciative. We understand, and you can see that." Um, you know, there's a couple of people talking with them that look like they may, may represent sort of the the uh, the new guys as opposed to the old guard. Um, so we've been talking with the, the separatists. Um, we uh, have re-examined our paths that we have taken over the course of the last uh, the last week or so. And, uh, you know, there's we, we feel that that people on both sides have strayed from their paths, but now we have realigned and uh, we will do that in exchange for your services here and your help and putting yourselves into mortal danger uh, and apparently losing uh, an arm. Um, we're going to provide you a small token of our esteem, which is essentially what they're giving you is two pallets of, uh, of two, two Ficky and, bourbon um weber you know as, as a whiskey guy you know that tufik bourbon is one of those legends that you hear about like pappy van winkle uh where you hear people have acquired it before at heinous prices uh but um you've never actually seen a bottle in your travels <laughs> now you have two pallets of it which they load onto the slice of lime uh representing 200 bottles of this mystical liquor that uh comes from here your guesstimate as to what if you were to buy this on the open market if you were to buy a bottle a buy, per bottle uh two thick bourbon when it's available which it never is usually runs about a, a thousand credits about a kilo credit so you're looking Ooh. at about a two hundred thousand credit gift and how much do they give us two pallets two bottles two pallets two 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 pallets of 100 bottles each 200 uh, bottles sorry, i'm breaking up i think you said a pallet and a half <laughs> Oh, you, see, you see him, he's cutting cut the pallet stripes. All yeah, there was a little, there was a little breakage you know, in the, uh, the transfer. Um, that's awesome. Okay, guys, I, I can't remember why the hell we came to this planet in the first place. I know we were sent here while our ship was being worked on to get something, but I don't remember what it is. Was this? No, you, you, you no, guys we were, were sent here. Yeah, you were delivering the medicine. Oh, okay. uh, the right. problem, the problem was the, we that gave it to the wrong people. You gave it to, yeah. you yeah, you gave it to the separatists who took it and stole it and then got themselves infected with the cordyceps virus. They lied they to us. Yep. <sighs> okay. There, as, as, the, uh, as the elders say, there was a fair amount of straying from the path on both sides. We were, we were wrong to politicize the distribution of, of the cordyceps medicine. They were wrong to steal it. And so we, we have realigned our paths and now we are walking true paths once again. But they've good. they've given you 200 bottles of this bourbon that you a street value of your guess is at a thousand bottles a thousand credits a bottle is probably 200 thousand credits that'll go a nice. long way to paying for the uh, for the ship the ship work yep. nice and they've taken cool. they've taken the uh they've taken the blocks off of your off of your shuttle and you are free to head back to Cymbeline, which I assume you will do unless you want to stay one night in town party it up maybe uh, one talk night about in town. 
talk about how cool well uh, if that's the case then sergey's uncle uh will come and see you yeah. and uh he was like let me show you the sights and sounds of tufik city as only a native tufiker can show you and uh, so he shows us the bar that one bar that you guys that you guys <laughs> went bar. into that one time emmett cham and the, the train girl are you know getting cozy yep and uh uh edmund's there again he's clearly fucked um <laughs> And, uh, uh, you know, you, but, uh, you guys go to that one bar and, uh, and there's a fair amount of celebration. You can also right, well, see that, that while you're there, there are actually a, a, a little cadre of like three medical guys come in and essentially give everybody the medicine. You know, they just come in. You're all, you're all drinking. Out of you. Yeah. Shots for everybody. Shots, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, or, we're ordering a round of shots for everybody. So, um, nice. and so they do. But then, uh, but yeah, after a, uh, a good night out of the town where uh, you enjoy the hospitality of everyone uh, that you talk to for your uh, for your getting that medicine back, uh, you board the slice of lime, say goodbye to Tufik forever, and uh, head back for Cymbeline. It's about a uh, it's about a six day flight, and uh, but luckily you have several bottles of Tufiker brandy or Tufiker bourbon to keep you company on, on the long flight back to Cymbeline system. Weber Jicks also has a Tufikian uh, hickey on his neck. Which, you know, <laughs> From train girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, he, no, that's Tam. Yeah, that's Tam. <laughs> Whatever barmaid he can, uh, he can uh, charm. I used to be a lot more charming when I had a half cape like Lando, but uh, I lost it in the war. <laughs> I lost, I lost it. I lost it in the at the the uh, path of uh, Emma Bell Stevson was the name of that town that was yeah. destroyed, and it was. So, so let's go ahead and turn off the recording. Okay, hold on a second. Here uh -oh. we go. <laughs> After all we've said, I don't know that anything could be. Yeah. You know,